Hello, hello everybody! Yay, it's Friday! Where has the time gone? I don't know. Did you lose it? I don't know. It was your turn to watch the time, I think, maybe. I don't know. But I'm back! I'm back with some more Metro Prime! Having lots of fun with this! We're about... I, I actually didn't check the percentage I was at when I finished off. I remember saying on the last stream that I would get up to 25%, but I have no idea how far I am into this game yet. So, without wasting any more time, let's get on with it. I am having fun with this. Figuring out where to go, get me power-ups and all that. I got spider ball last time. So that should open up some new avenues for exploration. Let's see, what was my percentage? I was aiming for 25, what do I get? I get... 
Ooh, 26%. All right, I'm just over. Just over what I thought I would get last time. That's pretty good. No idea what I might end up with this time. Might aim for... Oh, goodness, I don't know. Let's say... Let's 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 be ambitious. Let's say 33. 33%? Get a third away through the game? Gee, I've been going to the game eight hours. That That's a time. All right, let's go. Back to the world of the Magma Caverns, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Where did I leave off? I was so tired last time, I don't remember where I left off. Okay. Off we go. Another round of Metroid Prime. Let's go. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's had a good week. I got a warning already. Let's see. I know, whoa, good. I was gonna say, I know absolutely nothing about this area. And then that hoved into view. Transport to Fendrara Rift South. No, I don't wanna go back up there. Oh, I fought that boss, didn't I? Third ass, third, third, third something. I don't know what happened to second and first ass, but he was third ass. Okay. The right way. All right. Beep beep boop. So we've got some warning already. Did it. Alright. Whoa, hey fellas. Oh, they blasted me right off the platform. Okay. Wow, these guys have done a number of my health. Nice. Okay. Dealt with. What have I got now? Oh, I got you cute little buggers. You're hanging around here. Okay. I don't know why I think they're cute. They, they just, they just are. What's my scan, doodad? This machine is functional, but it is currently not receiving power. Story of my life, innit? Nothing's got power around here. A channel door sealed. Okay, you're the north door. The north. Must be east. And south is south isn't down here. I think. I've got a new view, haven't I? Yeah, thermal. Right, that'll help. Yeah, let's see. Warning. Uh can't do anything there. Let's get into ball form and let's go for a roll, shall we? Oh, there's my way in. No, you don't. Ugh! Less lava. Nope. That is also lava. That is also lava. Hmm, I don't think I can do anything yet. <coughs> That's fine, though. 
Oh yeah, I can't forget my double jump. Yep. Hmm. Well, I think the only way I can go is probably that way. That's not a path I can walk on, but can I jump it? Ooh, just about. Got a blockage. The stable Bendesium debris blocks the path. Bendesium. Well, it's got to be one of my weapons, hopefully, so let's just try a concoction of shots. Not that one. It's not anything. In a down thing. All right. Oh, there's another door down there. Okay. Was that a door? I'm sure it was. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, hello there. What are you? New creature. Uh, morphology. Puddle spore. Sentient floating lava mollusk protected by an impenetrable shell. Puddle spore opens when approached, attempting to imitate, intimidate with its size when opened. F direct fire to its mantle causes it to flip onto, oh, into a defensive position. It can be... If it can slam shut, it ejects a spread of harmful energy globules. Now here come the globules, I think. Oh, I see. You're a platform, that's what you are. Haha! <laughs> Scan you before. Ouch. Come on, get out of the ground, you. Thank you. Several of them now. Hmm. Out of range. Yep. Rotating lift platforms are in working order. That's good. They're broken. I wouldn't know what I'd do. Oh god. <laughs> she no jump. She don't want to jump that time. It's in here. Oh. I remember you. Lucas with the raid. Hi everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. How y'all doing? Hope the Pokemon went well. Did I kill that guy? I wasn't paying attention. I'm playing some Metroid Prime because it's Friday. Friday's the feel good day after a busy as heck week getting the game sorted out. I'm doing, yeah, I'm having some fun with some Metroid Prime. I've not played this before, but it's really good so far. I'm about 25, 26% the way in. Hey, it's good. Hey, Pivot, how's it going? 
Love the music in the... Hey, Sneeze! Love the uh, music in this area. Yeah, it's good. It is really, really good. Right, I'm not getting across there, I don't think. Oop, hang about. You look suspiciously weak. Yeah, Lucas, if you wanna if you wanna hang around in chat for a bit, more than welcome. Just poke me on the uh, the old Discord, and we'll have a we'll have a bit of a natter. Not able to Discord. Ah, that's fine. Fair enough. Love this game so much. Yeah. You were saying it's one of your favourites. That's cool. You're gonna have to bear with an absolute numpty playing it though. I have no idea of anything. I only just learned. Earlier, I learnt what Metroid's uh, Metroid was the little parasite thing. I'm assuming I can shoot you down. I should, should I shoot you. Oh, something moved. Oh, oh, there we go. Right. I did. I did a good. Metroid is the character players, right? Yeah, Miss Mrs. Metroid. She's uh, she's up and ready to go, isn't she? Playing this on the GameCube. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beat you to a pivot. This is the, yes, this is the GameCube one. I've got my retro tink all hooked up and I'm doing the, uh, doing the GameCube version. I had the remaster, but I thought, you know what? Let's do the GameCube version before you play the remaster so you can appreciate how good the remaster is, probably. Control in this game, yeah, it took a bit of adjusting, but I, I got there in the end, I think. Film Hill Pro Tag. I can't believe Metroid went woke. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what are you? Oh, you a hook. Viable attach point for the grapple beam. Okay. And I got the, the puffers over here. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. This hanging rock structure appears to have a weak spot near its base. Some stalactites can be dislodged from the ceilings. Yeah. Alright, gotcha. Let's give it a. It's only missiles, I guess. Not sure what shots are doing it. Maybe not that gun, actually. Just missiles. How did I lodge the dislodge the previous one? More like woke Troid. <laughs> oh, I did it. Yeah, I'm genuinely enjoying my playthrough of this. I found I. Uh oh. <laughs> I found I was enjoying it the more I was playing it. Getting all my powers back and stuff. I beat. Third? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Third ass? I think it was like a giant rock boss in the ice, in the Philandra tundra or something. Yep. Be gone. Yep. There we go. It's not. It's not a dragon. It's fine. It's all good. Thardus, that's the one. Hey, dark flame. How you doing? The icy hedge lad. Yep. Oh, thank you. Just bombard it with missiles until it falls down. Here we go. Getting over there, though. Oh, that's a platform. Yup. Okay. Alright. Making progress. We're good. through there. I've been all over the place. I've seen so many cool things. It's been neat. Doing awesome just eight. Seven enchiladas. Nice. Sounds like I had a feast for the ages there. Oh, they were good. Well, they must have been good if you ate seven. <laughs> okay. Nothing else in that room, I don't think. It's good to scan things and read the story. The story's quite good, actually. Told all environmentally. Oh, am I not getting through you? Oh, I am that way. Hi! Nope. Ain't 
cooking me, sir. Sorry. All right, just a missile will do it. Yay. Okay. Can't wait till I get my hook. I got the spider ball. I think it was called spider ball. So there's a whole lot of places I can go back and use that, but right now I'm down here. Your hook. Yeah. It's a little scratch, I'm fine. Oh. Oh, spider ball track speak of. Oh, where's it, where's it go? Oh, that way. Hmm. All right. Ah, uh, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now how do I... How do I lodge on? It's been a bit. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. This is taking me back to where I think it is. <laughs> I think I know where I am now. If I go through that door behind me, I think there's another lift. Yep, I know where I am. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Guess I'm going back up then? Oh, hang about. <clears throat> Before I go back up. Oh, yeah, I nearly got ended here, didn't I? Nope, going back up. There's probably a whole load of things I can do back up on the surface. And you're enjoying it so far. I am. I'm not familiar with Metroid at all. But I had my arm um, twisted by a co-worker saying, you know, you really should play Metroid Prime. You'd like it. And I'm like, eh, we'll see. But no, <laughs> I'm glad I had my arm twisted. I am enjoying it. Oops, something behind oh, there's something behind me. What's behind me? Something was hitting me. I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Oh, I'm stuck on you. Get out of here. Metro Prime was the first one I played, but played every other since. Yep. I picked this up, oh my goodness, second hand not so long ago. My, the first Metro Prime game I actually had was Metroid Prime 3 for the Wii. I got it as a birthday present about maybe... 2009, 2010-ish. Never played it, though. Because it was like, well, it's the third in the series. I should really play the other two first. And I didn't get a GameCube until much later. Uh -huh. Think I can join it after your first ad break. Ooh, all right, fair enough. I've been going... Oop. But a lot of people have been saying, God, I really enjoy watching you play this for the first time because they're like seasoned Metroid Prime, Prime players that have beaten the game like, you know, four or five times and they're just like, oh my God, it's so interesting watching somebody new play it for the first time. I failed the first little bit I did. You, you're given a, a time limit at the beginning of the game to like escape from this place. I failed miserably. <laughs> I got lost and somebody sent a message saying to me that it was painful to watch. And I'm like, eh, it's my first day. It didn't end well my first day, but my second day, yeah, it was absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, I'm near the big tree. Yep. Wow, a tapping felt as if it was in my headset. That was, that took me, took me for a spook. I was also good. I made it swan. Oop, I have one, one of the only ones I haven't actually finished because I didn't get along with the motion controls, but it's still a great game. Ah. Oh, yeah, motion controls Wii, right. Hmm, that might be something when it comes out. Uh, well, sorry, when it comes out. When I get around to playing it. I know they're also doing Metroid Prime 4 as well. It's been in the works for goodness knows how long. I get it, game dev is hard. So I figured, why don't I catch up on some things before that game comes out? Because everyone's going to be playing it. Nope. Oh. Regional climate analysis complete. It's raining. 
Abnominal low temperature at ruined site. Okay. The antechamber. Uh, how do I get there? Holy moly. Just taking care of stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Fair enough. Prime 3, Prime 3 was going for a similar Halo vibe because Nintendo and Xbox were competing at the time. Oh, Metro vs. Halo. Mm, it makes sense. Yeah, I guess nowadays they don't really care. But yeah, we're going to see it for the time. Hated Metro Prime 3. Never even finished it. One or two are great. Ooh, okay. Metro Prime 3. Divisive, huh? Okay. Last three bosses are dope. Huh? Fair enough. Yes, Metro Prime 4 had a title teaser like forever ago. Yes, I remember seeing it and everybody was just like really, really excited about it. But I'm just like, ooh, <laughs> don't get it. But I probably uh, do get a little bit more than I've played this one. Though people don't really talk about Metro Prime 2 that much. But I have that one as well. So, yeah, go through that as well. Hmm. Oh, and stuff like ads for hiring, but that's all you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They restarted development, I think. Was it not with uh, Retro Studios, and then they changed it to be like, "Nah, we'll we'll get the we'll get the get the boys in." Which I can understand, you know. I get it. More recently, Metroid Dread is amazing on Switch. I have that. Yes, not played it, but I do have it because everyone was making a very big deal out of it, and I thought. Okay, I'll play it, and then I realize it's like the fifth one. I'm like, go. Got another four to play. None of which I've played either, so. Yeah, very much a Metroid noob. Is there anywhere I can jump? I feel as if I can get up there. Maybe I can. No, that's too far. Hmm. Guess I'm coming back here later, I think. Two was pretty good, but it was slow paced. Ah, okay. Fair enough. The more recently. Oh, sorry. To be honest, you can pretty much play them in any order. Yeah, I. I might have heard that somewhere. They don't really carry on from each other, but it's a case of you have your powers, some catastrophe happens, you get Metroided. You lose your powers, you gotta go get them again. Actually, screw it. I can draw you now for a bit. Ah, fair enough. Give me a. Give me a bell on the old Discord. I like Dread, but I physically couldn't play it. I found it exhausting. I don't know why, but so tense. I just found it. I like actually mentally taxing to play. Oh, Metroid Dread. Yeah, that's the one we've been chasing. It wasn't that game like 21 years, uh, like announced like 2000 something or other, and then it took so long to make. They put it on the back burner or something. And then all of a sudden they just decided one day, let's actually make this. Not too familiar with the few with with the history of it, but there you go. I'm learning. I'm trying to correct my Nintendo blindness. <laughs> I'll be playing Mario next. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, ring a ding. Hello. Where? Hi! You're live. You're live on channel whatever. Ah. <laughs> How's it going, friend? Why can't Metroid crawl? Uh, she can't crawl, but she can do one heck of a roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's it going? Can you share your screen, please? Oh, good oh boy. Okay, one sec. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Let's see, share screen, capture devices, game capture. That, that. Going live, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Er, I'm okay. Fair enough. I think. Oh, whoops. Let's chat scroll up a bit. I think it's the last one chronologically, too. Oh, which one? Uh, Dread? That one? Probably. I guess it's called Metroid 5. Played Metroid Prime 1 and 2, then Fusion and Zero, then Super Metroid. Wow, in that order, nice. Okay, well, yes, if order doesn't matter, then I can go whichever one I want, I guess. All right. Bear with me, just eating some peanuts. Ooh, all right. <laughs> I'll try not to make too much noise. <laughs> With the crunch. All right, map. I need to see where I'm going. Hmm. 
But yeah, I always hear good things about Metroid, just uh, only getting around to playing them. Ah, uh, I didn't see a track up there actually. I, I'll remember that door. Mm. There are two dragons now, yes! We are, we are we are we are taking over slowly but surely. Yeah. The revolution is coming. I, think. I am a small dragon, but that does not mean I'm a kobold. <laughs> nope, just been that way. I'm trying to think now where I found all those spider tracks. Chat, yeah, you should throw a shiny at Alec. Oh wait, what? <laughs> okay, uh, I guess. Yeah. Sharp. Prefer Super... Oh, sorry. Super Metroid and Zero are my fave 2D ones. Though. Isn't Fusion a remake of the first one? Now they've done remakes of... I think Fusion is the remake of the first one. And then there was Samus Returns on the 3DS. And that was a remake of Metroid 2. But I might be remembering. Down. Hmm. You know more than me. I know nothing about. This. It, yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's complicated. It can One be. of those series where my uh, my entire knowledge is from Smash Bros. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Zero is the remake, I think. Yeah, fair enough. Zero was the remake. Cool. I do have the ability to stream 3DS stuff, so. Oh, maybe. I'm telling Nintendo on you. Oh, it's not an emulator. Oh, okay. <laughs> they can't. They can't do me one. Let's see. Oh god. Hmm. It's definitely map time. I need to think about where I need to go. Must be zoom. There it is. Good week, I hope. Me? Yeah. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> Work was a bit stinky, but hey ho. Oh, fair enough. What else what else is new? <laughs> uh, yeah. I almost finished my peanuts. Oh good. KP or peanuts. other? Chocolate peanuts. Oh, okay. Oh, blimey, that's a walk, isn't it? Ruined Shrine. Can I actually get there? Ruined Shrine, and that is in... Chozo Ruins. I am far from the Chozo Ruins, I think. I go, I am, I am fully peanutted. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, what a week. We have a release date for our game now. Hooray! Yay. May tw uh, May 21st. I've been sitting on that forever. <laughs> I did panic slightly because I saw that and I was like, oh my god, is the release date during Confuzzled again? Uh, well, it, 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 It's the week before, isn't it? It is the week before, but it's fine because they need to... like. It's not a PC release, it's console, so it needs to go through certification and stuff like that. So it's fine, it's going to be prepared well in advance. Like, yeah. I, I will definitely not have the same situation I did last year. I had the rug pulled out from under me five minutes before I bought my train tickets. You're not taking our dragon away from us yeah. this time. No, not this time. What is work? I no longer know of this work thing as of two days ago. Oh, yeah, you're moving to America, aren't you? All right, showing off. <laughs> I don't know what work is. That reminds me, I should play Spyro. It's the Year of the Dragon. I should play Spyro 3. I, I like how you're saying that as if you've never played Spyro before. <laughs> I, should, I should play Spyro. Oh. <laughs> I should get around to that. It's been a while. Okay. I still need to get the second one, because I'm a huge, like... 
nerd, and I'm, I need to try and find the second one, but not in the silver packaging. Ooh, okay. Because everyone I've seen has been in the silver one. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. want that because it looks wrong. <laughs> yeah. You bef- I-, I know I've mentioned this before, but with those games, actually, with the re-release, you actually get a fixed version of the game. I know those are there, but it. Like, I, I, it doesn't look nice on my shelf. Yeah, it's the aesthetics of it, damn it. I- I've got all my PlayStation games, and then Crash Bandicoot is a silver one. It doesn't. Look- I-, I hate it. <laughs> oh. Go away, Crash. Go away, Crash. <laughs> Stupid Bandicoot, what did you do for us? Gonna be every little return like- later. Who even likes Crash Bandicoot? Oh, wait. <laughs> Keep in the chat. <laughs> see you later, sneeze. I didn't Bye, see. Sneeze. I didn't scan this before. Got to read the story. Chozo script translated. The history of the Chozo stretches back into ancient times, so far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however: the Chozo who colonized Talonfor made a conscious choice to issue a civilization of advanced technology. They chose to live in harmony with nature guided by the province of the universe. As this city grows, we plan to honour them with written tributes, carvings etched in stone, to remind us always of their legacy. Oh, so all this time, the, pe- the people who have actually been writing, they're not Chozo themselves, but they are, I guess, the race that came after Chozo? Dun, 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 dun. Mm, I'm glad I read that one, because I don't think I've read a- another thing like that that actually says that, so, okay. Cool, I guess. All right. Ooh, I have a new missile power. Can I blow this tree up? Or at least the hole in the tree. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I, I like Crash Bandicoot. I'm just... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just being a nerd with the uh, packaging of the, <laughs> case, of the game. The OCD is kicking in. I hear bees! No. Bees? Bees! War wasps, I, I mean. There's a bee? Uh. Why? I want to remake a Super Metroid. It's one of the 2D Metroids without different difficulty settings. Oh, a remake of Super Metroid. Hmm. That's that's the one on the SNES, isn't it? 94, I think. Fun fact, if a game has Super in front of it, chances are it's going to be on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, doy. That does make sense, doesn't it? Unless if it's Mario. <laughs> oh, that bounced Super off. Super Mario. Oh, but they, they did the um. There was a short announcement video about stuff happening for Mario Day mm-hmm. that Nintendo put up, and yeah. I completely forgot that Charles Martinet doesn't voice Mario anymore, and it really threw me off guard. <laughs> it's like, that, that's not Mario. That's someone <laughs> pretending to be Mario. <laughs> wow, it's Kevin Afghan now. Is his name? Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna take a bit of getting used to. I guess so. I didn't really. I mean, yeah, Charles Martinet, very distinctive, but... It, it's it's because <sighs> Mario hasn't... Is, he's always had that voice. Yeah, it's always been him. With something like Sonic, that does change every now and again, so you're kind of used to it changing, but... Yeah. With Mario, I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, they haven't changed the Sonic cast... I don't think for they've changed the cast for, like, 14 years, which I'm like... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have some potentially bad news for you. Oh, is it longer than 14 years? Son- Sonic hasn't changed, but most oh. of the others have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. At least it's not Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the video starts and Mario just says, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> I still haven't seen that movie. I don't know if I'm going to, to be honest. I'm like, mm. Hey! I'll probably end up seeing it at some point. I mean... Except I don't know that much about Mario. I'm one of those cretins who hasn't played Super Mario. I'm, I'm never, I'm never, I'm not overly fussed about Mario. I like me platformers and stuff, but uh... everyone just wants, everyone just wants to go see it for Jack Black, Elder. <laughs> sings about peaches. I don't know. Mm. Ooh, I just that's have literally, to. That's literally, that's literally my entire knowledge of the film due to the internet. <laughs> I was literally started walking down a corridor thinking, gee, I hope this is the way I'm supposed to go. Turns out it actually might be. Yeah, good job. S- spider track. Oh, I got a rolly bit. <laughs> Rolling around is so funny. You can only imagine what it's like in that suit. Oop. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why did I bother? Yeah. Run away! What's, what's my unroll button? Oop. Roll, roll away! 
Who's that Pokemon? It's Rhyhorn. Come on. Oh, aim for the horn. <laughs> you shoot his Sam butt. Metroid Pro Skater. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Tony Hawk's potato. <laughs> Tony Hawk's roast potato. Mm. Tony Hawk's existential crisis. <laughs> yep. Now, for real though, I am actually enjoying this game. Whee! There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. In here. Oh, what's that? That, that, that? that must hurt being that small. Yeah, just imagine the bones oh. going. <laughs> I didn't need those bones anyway. <laughs> what's my. Ah! Oop. Oh, you can't. I don't think you can do that yet. You can jump and attach. I just forgot what my attachy button was. Oh, okay. That was the spider morph thingy. No. Uh -huh. Fiddlesticks. Oh dear. <laughs> I think will this be this could possibly be the first be the first Nintendo game I like ever finish, like ever. I'm gonna say the first Nintendo game you've played. Uh, not play. Have, have, you, have you played any Mario game at all? No. Oh, I, at I all? No. I th well, I think I didn't. I play Mario One or something when I was at your house. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't really play Mario that much. <gasps> yeah. You played Mario Kart? Uh, yes, but I'm no good at it. Same. I mean, we we play Mario Party, but I'm oh, just like. No, no. No, don't don't play that. <laughs> I don't play Mario Party. I prefer to keep friends. <laughs> I, I like having people to talk to. I keep uh, thinking if they made a version of Monopoly that was based on Mario Party, it would destroy every single friendship in the world. <laughs> Is it X? Favorite, favorite ran the Mario Kart Society at university for two years. Gee, who'd do that? <laughs> Uh, yeah. No! Oh. <laughs> it rolled straight off. <laughs> I I was the vice president of the society for a bit, which means that I didn't really do anything. <laughs> but I had a fancy name, so that's fine. <laughs> got a nice plaque with my job title on it. Roll. Oh. There we go. I don't need to jump up, I can just press. Wahoo. There we go. Right, don't roll off it this time. Rolling, rolling. Roll high, there we go. They, they, they see me rolling. They, they hate. hate them. So white and nerdy. Okay, what's down here? Game the video games. Sir. It did, uh, as far as I know, um, when... Because they got to a point where we all we had to leave UNA, so we weren't part of it anymore. It briefly became a FIFA society and then died. <laughs> as far as far as I know. Right. Okay, this looks very <coughs> this looks very boss arena. This is what happens when you don't have a furry on the committee. Mm. Furries make make everything run better. Mm. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. Okay, what we got? Ah, it's fine. It turned to FIFA because all the people that played those games left. Mm. I yes, that that's how I discovered the Wii Bomberman. It's so good. Oh, Bomberman you is just brilliant. Mess, mess about with eight-player Bomberman on the Wii. Yeah, that's so much fun. I miss Bomberman. Oop. Bomberman. Pillar is seriously damaged and in danger of collapsing. That's not foreboding at all. Nope, that doesn't Gee, say... I wonder what will happen. <laughs> that doesn't say shoot me. Large stress fractures can be seen on the structure of this... <laughs> uh, seen on my structure. Um, okay. Br Brinstone. That just basically said the same thing in two different ways. Yeah, essentially, yes. Do you think that's good writing? The writing in this has been really good. Just shoot it, Fox. Missed. That'd be for targeted, didn't it? I've got my wave gun now. 
That's not really doing anything. Maybe a missile? Nope. Ooh, dragon coins. That's not really <gasps> You can spend them for goods and services. Okay. Ah! <laughs> All those. <laughs> it's mm. great, because the shiny bounces off his nose, and then I get it down here. <laughs> it's mine now. Right, I forget. Now, the one thing this game kind of maybe didn't maybe do a great job of telling me, but, you know, you can figure it out. It's the arm cannon, like, you can read. Oh, no, it's not arm cannon. It's secondary. Like, it tells you what weapons are good against shooting things. Uh -huh. So, like, missile launcher. Missile launchers can destroy radion or brimstone. And I think that just said brimstone, but I had to read it to find out, which, eh, it's whatever. Let's see. Can it not beam combo? Or was it a beam combo? Samus is notes. <laughs> uh huh. It just pulls out a little notebook and scribbles down. <laughs> space jump boots. So, missile. So, just missiles will take care of this brimstone. Okay. Uh, In theory. Uh huh. Let's put that through to practice, shall we? Oh, yep. Yeah. Third right. time's the charm, I guess. Here we go. Good job I got missiles. I'm, ex I'm interested to see what the uh, the remake, the remaster does of this. Right. Okay, is that all three? Did I miss one? <clears throat> I think I missed one. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I need to get higher up. There we go. You were hidden behind the pillar. Did that do it? Maybe. Oh, can I just... Okay. Oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> I've caused... Ah, look at what you've done. <laughs> ah! Okay. Chief break everything here. Yeah! Uh oh, jeez. Well... Underwater now. I do like the <clears throat> the music, the alien sort of vibes. Really just paint a, a cool picture. I do like the atmosphere. Very nice. The remaster is exactly the same gameplay wise, but with modern controls and they've just added a ton of nice touches which managed to make it look better than most Switch games. Yeah, if that's one thing that Nintendo and their first parties can do, it's they can squeeze as much out of the hardware as possible. It's almost like they made the console. Uh-huh. It's almost like when you have the blueprints for the thing, <clears throat> you might be able to do it a bit better than others. Oop. And scan you. you're a super puffer, are you? Uh, I'm suddenly getting reminded of the Sega Saturn here. <laughs> oh, you're not a super puffer. You're a plated puffer. Mutated puffer with reinforced epidermis. Okay, we're getting fancy now. There's an exposure has created a mutant strain of puffers on Talon 4. They have developed plated skin, making them harder to burst. Concussive weapons can still do the job, however. The gas within the plate of profit is just as deadly as that within their cousins. Alright, so it's missile. Reinforced it. epidermis is my new band name. <laughs> oh, two for one. That was good timing. An option of modern controls, you can switch back to the regular ones if you want. Ah, okay. I need the. Oh, they're not. I was going to say they're not stopping spawn in here. You did it. Uh, did I? I don't know. <laughs> Where go now? Oh, more pillars to destroy. That seems like a good idea. Yep. Especially when I'm in it, too. God. Hey. Hey, I'm shooting there. Hey, I'm shooting here. <laughs> oh, I didn't scan you. Shoot. Well, there's another one of you. Yeah, there is. 
morphology. Oculus. Hmm, I wonder if they're going to cause a rift at some point. Wall crawler that generates electric pulses. The Oculus exposes a single eye when active. Okay. The electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impermeable shell. It just, just reminded me, um, going to a sad moment, my Oculus account will be deleted in two weeks. Oh no. I got my email and said, oh, you have to make a meta account if you want to keep it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I forgot yeah. I had an Oculus account. It's because I've got, um, I found the dev kit in Gex. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I got that, but you needed an account to download the stuff to run it. Stinky. So, rip. I don't, I, I think the dev kit doesn't actually do anything anymore. Probably I not. Think it's, although there's probably some online stuff to um, sort it out. It probably is somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Ripperoni. Ripping peppers. Oop. Oh jeez. <clears throat> Time to get moving. Ouch. Hmm. This can only end well. What are you doing, you crazy fool? <laughs> They're gonna kill us all. <laughs> I go down. I'm taking yours with me. Missile's no, low. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, what? You missed. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Pew. I shouldn't be laughing, but it was funny. <laughs> I'm trying to think where I get missiles if I run out. From the missile shop, duh. Oh, <laughs> nice missiles. Where'd you get them? The missile store? Yes, actually. Oh. Mm. Kill things. Oh, yeah. That's an idea. Now you got three left. Uh huh. Long you don't miss. And. He bleated. Okay. Well. <clears throat> yep. Is there, is there more? I don't think that looks like it. Ah. Good job. Oh my god, don't fall. Okay. Uh, it's Mal. It's a Mal afternoon. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Mal. Welcome. Again. Yeah, we're Metroid in. I'm doing an okay I job. I finished my Pokemoning and now I'm just being a dragon. Rare. Uh, yeah. Rare. I was going to say, ooh. Pew pew. Pewty pew pew. Wave Buster. Wave Buster. Dun, 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 dun. Are you feeling better? Cool. All right. right. This powerful attack uses missiles when active. Right. Using the wave beam, press and hold A to charge, then press Y to fire, hold A for continuous fire. Okay. Rawr. I if only you had some missiles. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, I'm 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 fresh out. You used them all to get it. Uh huh. Don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. Right, right, right. I think. Let's, have a... Let's do a scan, shall we? Good thing I have plenty of missiles. Yeah. Fox. Oops, sorry. Just shoot it, fox. <laughs> That's another, oh, uh, well, not related, but another series I want to kind of maybe start soon is Sly Raccoon. I thought you were going to say Star Fox then. Mm. Uh, play Assault. Everyone needs to play Star Fox Assault, god damn it. <laughs> I do have a copy of it. They need to redo Star Fox Assault. Mm. Nah. Yeah, Namco, get on that. And make it more than like <clears throat> two five hours minutes long. long. <laughs> yep. I don't think there's anything else up here. Guess I'm, guess I'm fallen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, have, I haven't played Raccoon yep. Game either. I've got a lot of stuff on my shelf that are just sit there. Mhm. Mm Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter. I'm just looking at it now. Um, Sly Cooper. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I never finished Tie Two. Oh yeah. We got, got Tie One. Didn't finish Tie Two. 
I bought a TIE 3, that's kind of hard to find here. Oh, in Europe, right? Yeah, cause it, um, but it's Australian, so it'll work here. Yeah, yeah, true. I started to go back to the Neopets game as well. <laughs> like the, the Dark Souls of Hidden mm. Games. But you get to play as a wolf with a sword, and that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we... <clears throat> hmm. So one would assume if you got a new power up, you were to be able to use it straight away. If I can, though, can't double jump up there for sure. <laughs> Those are not meant to be stood on. Okay. Blow up the wall, maybe. The same as blundering around so she just happens across the right answer. You got me looking at more of my shelves of games now, going, how, look at all these games I've not played. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I've got Doom. I don't know why I've got Doom. <clears throat> Not which, really the kind of thing I'd play. Which one? Uh, Saturn. Oh, that Doom. Okay. I've got the 32X one as well. <laughs> nice. Um, mm. love, love Jack and Daxter. Yeah, Jack and Daxter. That's another series, but I've only played and finished the first. I hear the second one goes a little bit edge edge lordy because it was around that time when everything had to have. A yeah, I've tone. heard one of them. One of them's a bit off. Yeah. I don't know if it was two or three. I don't think I can do anything else in here. Unless I get a triple jump at some point. Oh, I've got Blinks. We should do Blinks at some point. Blinks the Time Sweeper. Uh huh. That game. Ow. Hmm. Did you ever play Psychonauts? I didn't. Sorry. No. You should play I Psychonauts. I will get around to that at one point, sorry. <laughs> Psychonauts is really good. For the benefit of the chat, Salad got me that as a present, and I'm a very terrible friend. <laughs> now, where's where's oh. my where's, where's my Psychonauts fans in chat? Please say there's somebody else out there who's played Psychonauts. I'm pretty sure Sneeze has. Psychonauts is amazing. It's criminal, I didn't sell. Mm. I, need to, I need to play Klonoa. Yeah, Klonoa, yep. Um, just looking at everything on my shirt. Uh, uh, you may notice there's a pattern with these. They're all things with cute animals. <laughs> wow, didn't see that. Oh, if the game's got a human protagonist, I'm just like, nah, but whatever. This does not hold my interest. <laughs> Unless if it's Pokemon or Digimon. <laughs> I, I tolerate the humans to look at the cute critters. <laughs> yes, he's like Psychonaut. Yes, another Psychonauts fan. <clears throat> Quote, I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> Nays, I've never heard you say that ever. <laughs> Special delivery today. Hmm. <laughs> Nope. Hitting me. I have a few things on my shelf that might surprise a few people. Ooh, okay. I've got a flatter house on the um, 360. <laughs> Games that people don't expect me to play. Hmm. Okay. Stuck on missiles oh. again. I thought I had Tomb Raider. Which one? Uh, Saturn again. Yeah, right, okay. I went through a period of just like <laughs> really, you know, going ham with collecting Saturn games. Mm-hmm. And now they just sit there doing nothing. <laughs> Tomb Raider Although, was. I did. I did f recently find. Um, I randomly found my AV cable for my Saturn. Oh, sweet. Oh, I can now stream it. <gasps> Nice. Because before it was, it, it was just a Scott cable before, and I can't stream that. Uh, nope. How do you, how do you stream them? Uh, HD converter. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Sorry. 
Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. We don't all have fancy gadgets. <laughs> we all don't have retro tinks lying around. Sometimes you got to make do it what I can get <laughs> off Amazon. <laughs> well, like I said, you're more than welcome to bo borrow it if you want. Uh, it's, it's fine. Yep. The one that, one, one that really annoys people is that, so I've got a thing that goes from AV to HDMI. I also have one that goes the other way. Ugh. I, I used to play the Switch on the CRT just to annoy people. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of gross. But funny. <laughs> <laughs> but funny. Alright, get out of here, freaking bees. Uh... Shoot you at a distance. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Not the bees. The bees! Ooh. They stole my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Mm. Ooh. Didn't notice that over there before. How can I get that? Double jumping going to do it. Gaming servers just, just got updated. Thank you, Windows 10. I'm not really interested right now, though. Good. Nothing can stop Dr. Bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe my new power will open this tree? Nope. If I remember to press it right. Oh, no. What's going to open that heckin' tree? Hmm... That's really actually a few Pokemon games I've not played either on my shelf. Uh oh. I just got them because I could. Yeah. Before they. Don't start XD. Sorry, Sneeze. XD. I feel I, need to... I feel I need to finish Colosseum before I start XD. That's the one on to GameCube, isn't it? Yeah, that. When you when you're talking about everything going through an edgy phase. Yeah. I'm fairly certain Pokemon XD is Pokemon's edgy phase. Oh. <laughs> Around the Shadow of the Hedgehog era, as I call it. Right. <laughs> the Dark Era, yes. Of everything. But it's, got, it's got Lugia. It does. The pillars are basically inverted. <laughs> Spider track. Okay. Oh, this water's harmless now. <coughs> you just go in here. Yeah, shadow of a Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm sorry, I've noticed I always do this. I come on to Sal Extreme and then talk about something completely irrelevant. <laughs> That's fine, okay. No structural weaknesses detected, you know. Got a bunch of DS stuff I never played. Oh? Who in the chat's heard of Pokemon Conquest? I have not. <clears throat> oh, Who in the chat knows just... what it actually is? <laughs> um, uh, do you know the game Nobunaga's Ambition? No, can't Japan. say I've heard of that one. It's like based on feudal Japan, I think. Oh. It's basically a crossover with that and Pokemon. Yeah, right, okay. Which is weird. Oh, I've not scanned you guys before. Uh, I'm you... sure Mal will tell me if I got that right or not. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I've, I've not played it, but I have it because, yeah, hmm. all Pokemon games. You've got Plasmites that emit light. Okay. Oh, I remember now. Don't I use this spurty thing to get up the ceiling? Fountain cleared of overgrowth. Water free of toxins. Nice. That's how I my water. Water, water everywhere. So let's all have a drink. Let's all have a drink. <laughs> Alright, hold this button and... Blip. Ah. I get it. Now you're thinking with portals. Yeah, although this is just going to give me a missile upgrade, which I'm cool with. Sweet. You did it. Good job. Now to get out. <laughs> just drop down, that's fine. <clears throat> All right. Scanned you guys? No. Oh, so, yeah, so we've gone past an hour. I don't know if you're due a um, thingy or not. Oops, the ad break was 30 seconds ago. Sorry. Oh my Oop. god. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Oop. Yep. After these messages. After these right messages. Back. <laughs> 
That's where I want to go. <clears throat> I'm going the right way. I think. Well, I've got a lot of Digimon games I need to play as well. I'm just, I'm just going to be annoying Sneeze by saying all of these. <laughs> Sorry, Sneeze. I haven't played all these games you've told me to play. Um, trying to get to the blue bit. <laughs> Sorry, Mal. Well, that means Mal probably didn't even hear what I said. Oh, crap. Uh -oh. oh, oops. Sorry. It's all your fault. I'll get you. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I, I can get you. I forgot. This is good. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> you got me. Right, I finally scanned you. Alright. So, I mean, do you reckon Metroid Prime 4 will be a Switch game? I reckon it'll be next gen. They'll probably save it. You mean the Switch 2? <laughs> Switch 2. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I, I don't trust Switch, uh, Nintendo with naming ever since they didn't call it the light switch. <laughs> they called it the Switch Lite. Uh, <laughs> you, had a, you had one job. <laughs> it was right there. Oh. No, no, it's knees. I need to finish the first one first. <laughs> the switch, the switch you. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know about that. Oh, I need the hooks, don't I? I can't. Definitely ain't getting oh. over there. Mm. Well, that was a trip. That was... Not needed. The Wii U was a good console, damn it. Everyone's wrong. <laughs> it had ah. it had games. Just ignore the fact I've stopped doing Wii U Wednesdays because I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's mostly because I keep forgetting. I really want to do <clears throat> Sonic Boom, but... <laughs> I, I streamed 15 Wii U games. Which is one tenth of the entire library. <laughs> nice. Super Switch super Cube 64. Cube 64 U. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment system. Okay, mm. right. Well, <clears throat> that area is not a place I can go. No, it's gonna. It's gonna be the. What is it? The. Oh. The, the new Switch. 3D XLI plus <laughs> plus plus micro. <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe there's a thing called the Pokeball plus plus. Oh, is there? Who oh, named yeah. it? Ah, oh my god. Somebody who realized their opportunity had long passed. I'm going to go to the Pokemon company and give someone a slap. <laughs> Okay, well, <clears throat> the game really wants me to try and get to this antechamber, so... And Knuckles. <laughs> and Knuckles. <laughs> Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> and Banjo-Kazooie. Of course. Gilha? Never got around to playing Banjo 2. I should do that. <laughs> We're both the same today. I should play this game. I should play that, yeah. Probably isn't going to. That's why I kind of do streams, to be honest with you, to force myself to play these games. Yeah, see, sometimes I feel like I should play them in my own time, but then I never get around to it. <laughs> I make my I own. Know. I make my own time because I'm just like, if I don't make my own time, I'm never going to get around to it. Aurora goes to the Pokemon company to slap someone for the Pokeball Plus, comes back with eight suitcases full of stuff. Yep, yeah, that's me. <laughs> but they had cute oh, plushies. I don't, I don't think I've told Mel this. So, so fun fact, I, I went to, because, because I am involved with pony stuff, I went to a pony convention in America for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns out it's a block down from where the Pokemon company is based. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and they share an office with Valve. <laughs> because Seattle. Oh, Everyone's was... based in Seattle. Yeah. Yep. 
I, I went for an adventure and I, I thought that for some reason I thought there was going to be a little sign outside that said Pokemon Company. Obviously there isn't. No. <laughs> like a low profile, I guess. E yes. Else there'd be people with pitchforks and everything. Hmm. Oh, why pitchforks? I don't know. It's it's Pokemon. Uh, it's always something that, something people are angry about. <laughs> okay. All right, game. You really want me to go this way? Well, I'm here. Now reveal your secrets to me. Now what? Ooh. Bad stress factors. Did I not? Oh, you, you haven't got one. You didn't do the lowest one. But did they all respawn? I think they all respawned, actually. Oh. Oops. Let me check this again. Now it's needs be nice. We've switched parking for P FPS. <laughs> I found out something quite interesting. So, um, the, the next big Pokemon game is the Legends one, but it's coming out next year. <clears throat> yes. So someone's pointed out, uh, 2023 and 2024 is the first time ever there's been two years without a big Pokemon game. Well, good. Because they usually get released at least uh, two years apart. So, that's interesting. They need time to work on those games. All we've had is um, DLC, which doesn't count. In their employees are allowed to eat now. <laughs> ah, right. What is... That bit of wall is a different colour to the other bits of wall. It's Looking so like a true game dev. <laughs> that wall looks suspicious. That wall looks like it can be moved. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, look at the low poly fishes. Hey, fishies. There's got to be something else down here that I've missed. Do I'll do my usual plug, though. If anyone's played Scarlet Violet and has not done the DLC, please get the DLC. It's so good. <laughs> I forget the long, complicated name they gave it. Uh, the... Oh, God. Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Right, yeah, Which that sounds makes better, sense right? if you've played the game. It'll mm. probably mean nothing to you, I guess. Uh, nope. The only thing I was interested in was, was Dragonite in it? Hmm. Right, 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 right. Um, the thing... I don't know. You got me wondering now. I'm going to fire up the game for it in a while. <laughs> game what do you want I'm going to do something what do you want from me yeah, yeah like what do you want from me yeah it's a different beam maybe oh here it is hold on oh confusing me now sorry so no, no I just thought something maybe I've got to use my thermal oh what's that Oh, look, the fishies are. Look. <laughs> the fishies oh. are warm. The fishies are warm. Okay, that's not what I was thinking. Can I just walk up this? Am I being an idiot? No, I can't. I'm using myself now. I've got both Pokemon games. <laughs> this is the Me first time ever I've actually played both games. All right. <clears throat> There's an update. What? <laughs> Scarlet's got an update. Me understanding where hidden things are in Metroid. Meanwhile, Dave Jaffe complaining about hidden stuff in Metroid Dread. Who's Dave Jaffe? Don't know who that is. Where's Pokemon Scarlet got an update that takes half an hour? Uh, maybe they finally fixed the water cooling. Oh, they already did that. <laughs> Thank you. You made God of War. Oh, oh that's why I've heard that name. Yes. God of War. Dad, dad of son. Dad of boy. <laughs> Twisted metal. Right. Whoa, how did I get here? Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> you look like an orange. I do look like an orange. 
Maybe I like orange. A hidden hole. Go down. I don't see if there's any patch notes for Pokemon. <laughs> they don't tend the to. They don't tend to do patch notes, but I think Bulbapedia has patch notes. Um, they, they did patch notes for the last big one. Okay. Patch notes. February the. F oh, I've not played it since February. Oh crap. Okay. Game. What do you want from me? Oh, it's just fix some random bits. Random stability improvements. <laughs> fix is a bug where the game would freeze if you used items to level up NK to 29. Oh. I, I love it when you get very specific stuff. They're just like, oh, crap. <laughs> How'd that happen? Mm. Minor text fix fixes, uh-huh. PS3! The PS3 is still getting updates. It got an update the other day. Oh, yeah, there was... So, um, in, in Pokemon, you uh, you craft TMs now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, by getting, um, like, material from the Pokemon that you beat in the wild. Uh, one of the TMs required Shield on, which is version exclusive, so, like, oh, crap, we've got to fix that. Oh. Which meant if you have Violet, you can't get it. Nice. Oh, dear. Oh, they've taken that one out. Um... <sighs> I'm sorry, game. Um, I don't think I can do anything here. Snaggle can no use uh, no longer use transforming wild encounters. Oh. Fix what? a bug where Dragon Cheer would persist after switching. That's a new move, by the way. Yeah, Dragon Cheer. I'll do that. I think I think it just powers up Dragon types. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Right. Oh, look at all the other bugs they've had to fix. <laughs> right, sorry, game. Mm. I'm not understanding what you want. Oh, there is one that says minor text fixes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Who's dragon cheer now? On me! Yes! Ah! <laughs> that's, that's a cheer. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> right, I've officially wandered off. Finding somewhere else. Kish splat. Hmm. Don't remember seeing any spider tracks out here. Go on, GameCube, you can do it. Right, where's that taking me? Down Overworld North. Huh. Splat. Go on then, why not? Kaboof! Water break. Slop, slop, slop. Mm. <laughs> Stay hydrated, kids. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pokemon have started um, tweeting out um, update the, the like the patch notes and stuff. Okay. So they'll be like, go to this link and it'll just tell you what happened. Hmm. <clears throat> I think this is right back at the beginning. Get out of here, whatever you are. I forgot what your name is. Stop biting my bottom, thank you. Alright. <laughs> Time to th thoroughly check the map. Up that way. Yeah. Oh, maybe I might be able to do something in this area? Yeah, let's show, let's try that. Bug bit my bottom. And my bottom's big. Oh, but apparently Nintendo told everyone to touch grass. Oh, okay. Recently, or? Uh, yeah. 
Uh, okay. They put out a thing just, just showcasing like some um, grassy areas in Pokemon Scarlet, and they just said, go out and touch some grass. <laughs> Take that, atheists. <laughs> Take that, globe heads. Mm. <clears throat> Where was that big chamber? It was this way. Rare. Uh, did I see spider tracks around here? No. I do apologize. I haven't been paying much attention. Are we, are we doing all right at the moment? Uh, we're, doing all, we're, we're doing all right. <laughs> I'm mainly lost. Yeah, oh, okay. I've gotten to the point in Metroid now where it's if you don't know where to go, you are slowly walking around the world figuring out where to go. Yeah. Yep. I keep thinking it's Saturday. It's not, that's tomorrow. Oh no, far from Saturday. Right, can I get through that door over there? Oh no, that door needs ice beam, doesn't it? Yeah. Darn. Ice beam for that one. Oh, um, I think the top one as well. Okay, never mind. Metroid used ice beam. It was not very effective. Oops. Let's check the... Oh, there's that area over there? Oh no, I tried getting to that, couldn't. Try... Caves? No? Oh! Oh, that is nice, though. Eee, yeah, no getting through there. Uh, okay, what about... What about the ice area? That door needs ice. Oh boy. No. Oh. Right. Yeah, de definitely, definitely getting stuck. <laughs> oh. No sneeze, you can't. Oh. Twenty quid. Twenty quid, but I want a peanut. <laughs> Oop. What are you? Twenty quid can buy many peanuts. Okay, yeah. These days, <laughs> this is a gel zap. <clears throat> Aquatic predator made of electrically bound skeletal halves. The gel zap's brain is located in the upper half of its body, while the heart and digestive tract occupy the lower half. Linked only by electrical impulses, the two halves somehow function effectively enough to launch the gel zap to the top of Talonfall's aquatic food chain. Alright, see how you like this. Oh, you're actually not that bothered by it. <laughs> Good job. Oh, only when you open your gob, right? Just gonna zip over here just to see if there's. Yep. Open wide. Good, yeah, thank you. Yeah. What's new scene? I want to buy a video game. Uh, video game for 20 quid? Wow. What a time to be alive. <laughs> what video game specifically? Oh, it just reminded me of something as well. Um, oh, I think I saved it on my phone. I have no idea what that is, to be honest. I keep hearing about it, but I don't know what it is. Oh, RimWorld. Hmm. Come on, jump. Oh, why can't I just make that jump? Mm. Yeah, here you go. Everyone keeps going on about uh, how video games are expensive mm -hmm. these days. And then uh, I've got here <laughs> a, a page from a Toys R Us magazine, <laughs> which I, I'm trying to find a date on it. 
in Super Nintendo, so I'm gonna say... When did Mario All-Stars come out? Oh goodness, 94, 95? Around that, so it's around that time. Oh, oh, here we go, it's uh, November... No, oh no, 25th of November, that, that does not help. Okay, um... You get Donkey Kong Country for $60. Mm-hmm. You get Street Fighter 2 for $70. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I have... Oh, which game is oh, it yeah. now? I have a, oh yeah, Light Crusader. I've got Light Light Crusader for the Mega Drive. The receipt in it is seventy pounds. Yeah, so I, I think the the games just get cheaper for a little bit, and now they've just gone back to what they were. Yeah, we were all too young to remember what games used to cost. The Super NES All Star Set control deck with two controllers and Mario World. And Super Mario All Stars, one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's, yeah, that seems pretty good actually. Oh, you had Light like, Crusader! Wow, somebody else had Light like, Crusader. Brilliant. Light <laughs> like, Crusader is it's an oddball treasure game, but it's pretty good. I had Light like, Crusader. I was young and dumb. I had no idea what I was doing on it. Yeah, it is a bit hard <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you, you can get. You can get Shaq Fu for sixty four ninety nine. Holy shit! <laughs> Brilliant. I think I paid three pounds for mine, <laughs> that, and that was like at least two pound too much. <laughs> Might as well save. Did, isn't there a sequel to Shaq Fu? Or a remake or something? Um, the, Her- there's a tongue in cheek, um, like second game. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know what it's called? I've got it. Where is it? I tried it again yeah, recently. Legend Reborn. I've, I've, I've played it on the Switch. <laughs> oh, Legend, <laughs> Legend Reborn. Okay. I, th- I think the final boss is like Barack Obama or something. <laughs> what? It, it, it's very tongue in cheek. Okay. Or Obama helps you or something. I forget. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I've got no idea where I'm going at the moment. That's fine. We'll get you later. Oh, I was. <laughs> Was doing fine until I wasn't. Mm. Elevator. Is there anything? Oh, what's that up there, actually? Straight ahead. Check him up to see if there's any unexplored doors. Great areas. Yeah. Oops. I see a door up there, actually. Suspicious looking stuff like that. Yeah, that's. Oh, hang on. That's got a red door on it now. That's plasma beam. I don't have that. Oh. That was the artifact temple. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna guess there's nothing else around here yet. Maybe, uh. Oh. We'll get there, we'll find it, we'll have an epiphany at some point. You can do it. Believe in you. How about I just leave? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. And in here? Nope, can't jump that. I'd be best also, to just... I'd like, I'd like to call Pivot out here a minute, because oh. um, thanks to him I've discovered the uh, watermelon game. <laughs> the watermelon game? Explain. And it, and it, it's, very, it's a game with watermelons in it. Sounds juicy. You have to match fruit and it makes bigger fruit. <laughs> oh, that one you showed me the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I found out it's on the Switch. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's on the Switch, is it? <laughs> it is. Now, if I drop down there, is that instant death? Oh! <gasps> you did it. Nice. I was under my nails the whole time. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. 
progress, however small. Sometimes if you wander lost for a while, you get an alert like, hey, something was sensed in this spot. Yeah, that's what I was getting for that. Oh boy, where is it now? <laughs> I'll never get used to <laughs> navigating this map. Uh, where was it? You were here. There, that thing there, the Tower of Light where I got my new improved wave beam, but like it, the game has said twice, go here. But I'm like, I, I can't go there because I don't really have anything that I can do. I tried getting up the, the hole, but nothing. So I don't know. It's misleading as well, because if you look at the room before it, just in the middle of the kind of screen there, it looks slanted like you can walk up it. Uh, but you can't. So. It's an illusion. It is. I tried going over there, but I need the, I need some kind of grapple hook. I don't have that yet. So I'm not sure. Right, right, right. Hey, this is this is a metro stream. You know what you got yourselves into. <laughs> Lots of oh oh maybe oh maybe over here, antechamber. Enhance. For every chamber, there is an antechamber. <laughs> I think I might need to go to the furnace. That sounds warm. It sounds warm. There you go. Ah, okay. You did it. Oh, there's two antechambers. Right, I think I got confused. Is that one? Is this also called antechamber? Is that why I was getting confused? Oh, this doesn't have a name on it, actually. Oops. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Okay. Right. Hooray. I know where I'm going. Now it's just getting there. Chozo, or do you? Chozo ruins. Please take me to the ruins. Magma caves. Nope, that's not where I want to go. Where's the other smegging lift? <laughs> Sometimes if there's a little sticking out of the side, that might lead something. Yes. All right, we're good. Thanks, Pivot. <laughs> Screw you, spider ants, whatever you're called. So I found my guns can't break ice yet. I can break metal debris, but I can't break ice. There was a whole load of pickups in the Fendrara rifts. Oops. That, uh, that I couldn't get yet. I suppose when I get the ice beam, that would let me destroy ice thingies. So, eh. Ouch. Maybe the other end chamber was an uncle chamber. <laughs> ah! No. Hot. And that, that, that needs... Ouch. Let me play my soundboard in peace game. That needs one of these. There we go. Okay. Chozo Ruins West. That's where I need to go. So, oh, straight ahead. Cool. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. There we go. Read that as unclenched chamber and got confused. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> Lucas, can you get sneeze a beer? Bear? What? No. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness, that is a long heckin' way I gotta travel. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Go out, do a left. No, no, do a right. And then just kind of keep going straight. Okay. This 
see a nerd. I'm going up, aren't I? Right, okay. Run! <laughs> Get pivot a rum. Hmm. Is Lucas just the drinks fetcher for this stream? I am I I did not agree to this. <laughs> Show me where I signed the contract, you'll find that I didn't. Ah, this reminds me, I need to finish Eternal Darkness as well. That's more of a Halloween game. Though. Yup. I am amazed. <laughs> Barkeep. Behave. <laughs> uh, this should take me to... Yeah. I'd like a single plum floating in perfume in a man's hat. <laughs> oh, what's that a reference to? I've heard that so one That before. is from something and I've completely forgot what it is. Yeah, it is. Mm, you have to tell us tell us what that is. I'm the only one who's worked in a bar. You don't know that. <laughs> How am I worked in a bar? Yeah, that, you have not worked in a bar. Have you worked in a bar? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I worked in a bar. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, j during COVID. Oh, oh, I see. <clears throat> we had to be spread out over, like, these two venues that stayed open. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Hmm, did not know that. How did you find it? Alright, I guess. <laughs> yep. Yoko Ono in this. Ah, I figured it might be something Simpsons. Simpsons y. We set, we set the Simpsons quote counter. Zero days. Save points. Badger said hi to Bar Lucas. <laughs> hope, Badger's, hope Badger's doing well, by the way, Sneeze. Say hi from me. Please. Nope. And quick check of the map. Need to go. Oh, there's a bit there as well I didn't see. Oops, oh my god. I can't navigate this heckin' map. Look at that little sticky up bit there on that room. In the dynamo. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm? So I just I just dug out my PSP because it was here and I was curious. Yeah. Uh, apparently one of the houses around here has unsecured Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'll see what I can do with this thing now. <laughs> I've never actually managed to get it online because um, if you have a modern security system, the PSP just goes, what the hell's that? I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> right. So I can't actually connect it to my internet. Oh. Internet browser. <gasps> Let's go on Google. Holy moly. Oh, there's a door there I've not explored yet. Oh. Oh, it's only blue. Any beam. Okay. Yep. yep. Hi, friend. Oh, yeah. It may, it may surprise you that um, I have a PSP as well. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually know you had one of those. I, I have it so, so I can play a Sonic game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which one? Which one? Uh, the PSP one. <laughs> Thanks. And what was the PSP one? Uh, it's called Sonic Rivals. It's not amazing. But... Oh, Rivals. Okay. Yeah, not familiar with that one. I had a huge urge the other day to play a Master System Sonic game. I have no idea why. Uh, Google. Yes. Connecting to the access point. Did I never go in this door? Okay, I guess I didn't. 
Oh, never mind. The incident doesn't work. Boo! Oh. Oh, this room! This room with the spider tracks. Cool. Let's see. Sonic, the PSP, and Knuckles. <laughs> Ooh! Chronic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Chronic back pain. Chronic weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this stuff on the PSP is. What stuff? I don't, just all the menu stuff. Like, what are you? I, oh. I don't use this thing, so I'm, I just like, I've got. <laughs> yeah, I have a Sonic game and I've got a Neopets game. That's literally it. DNS settings? What the fuck are those? Memory stick? <laughs> Oh yeah, it took ages trying to find the the, the save thing for the PSP because it's proprietary. Because oh it yeah, I hate those. You have to use the you have to use the Sony one. Can't can't use the <sighs> whatever SD card. Yeah. Who has those? Anyway. Okay. Quit your complaining, Lucas. <laughs> Maybe getting somewhere here. Maybe not. I have to do something in here. So I will comment on what you're doing at some point. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Pippa right. says you can get SD card adapters for your cheap, for super cheap on Amazon. Okay. Oh, okay. That's oh. all right. I've got, two, I've got two Sony cards now. Oh, is it not the micro SD? Is it actual SD sized cards, like the big ones? Uh, yeah, but it's the uh, oh, sort of postage sa postage stamp sized, I guess. Uh, it is a Memory Stick Pro Duo Magic Gate. <laughs> okay. Oh, Magic Gate. It, it's literally the proprietary one that Sony made, I think. Right. Because you know. <laughs> I think getting one of those cost me more than it than the PSP did. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's some kind of machine in here. The ventilation fan still functional despite multiple failed electrical connections. Machine is still active. Okay. What do you want from me, though? You want me to jump in? <laughs> no, there's no way for me to jump in there. Uh. Oh, I can finally do what I was going to do now because it's updated. I was, I was going <laughs> to see if Dragonite is in Pokemon. <gasps> Uh, okay. So no one has... Should they used in the PSP as various cameras which cost like four times more than the SD card equivalents? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's like the red... You, you might... Uh, I, I don't know how I know this, but it's like... There's a camera manufacturer out there called Red, and they make like 4K cameras and stuff like that, but they have their own proprietary power banks, and if they die... You gotta get a new one it's exclusive true. from one them and they're four times expensive than regular battery banks because fuck the customer, right? <laughs> yeah, I hate those. They cost yeah, they do. Hmm, okay, I'll keep this dynamo room in the back of my mind. I don't think I can do anything else here yet. Oh. Wow! The Noro Norovia! Uh, sorry, is that how you pronounce that? So with the raid. Hi everyone! How you doing? Welcome on in, welcome on in. We're playing Metroid Prime. Not played this before, so this is a kind of blind playthrough. But no, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had a good time. What are we playing? Yeah. Hi, oh. friend. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and everyone else. Got fre <laughs> got friend with me today. We're just chatting about, well, all sorts, I think. You're trying to find a bit out about Pokemon information on the PSP, which I thought was a bit odd at first. But okay. What? No, no, no. It's because um, Scarlet was updating. Uh, oh, yeah, you said it was going to take half oh, an yeah, hour. Dragon, Dragonite's in the main game. It's not even in the DLC. Whoop. Abnormally low temperature at ruined site. Was playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. Nice. Nice, cool. I have a friend who's really, really into that. He really does enjoy his time. Yep. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> rare, rare, rare. Oh, follow. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I have a friend who's really into Truck Simulator. He likes his driving games. And he likes the Sims, so yeah, 
Good stuff. Do you play, like, you play missions, don't you, in your truck? You take a load from, like, I don't know, the south of France and take it up to, like, Newcastle or something and all this other <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. You take coals to Newcastle. How about that? No one's going to get I saw the video it was quite, quite a while back of a guy just doing truck simulator, but he was, like, really getting into it with his setup. Uh -huh. He's got like about six different monitors, all with different angles. And then he's got the, he's got the trucker hat, and he's got a big horn thing above him that you just go. Eh, eh. <laughs> all right, plays that horn. Da, 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 whatever that tune is that you hear on Dragon France isn't real. Oh, 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 shoot. Okay, well, better not tell people that. France get... is made up to sell more French fries. <laughs> Yeah. Oop. Yeah, I'm a bit. I we were lost for quite a bit in Metroid, but we think, thanks to thanks to Pivot, we might have a way through now. Oh, mush mushrooms! Watch out for them. Yeah, you're a truck. Oh, I had a I had a. You had to be there kind of moment with your truck, but my friend, he was like proper into it and stuff. And I ended up distracting him with like a, a noise or something. And he turned the wrong way. He's, he's American. He wasn't used to the how oh. we, we, we turn just on our roads, like we drive on the other side. So he got to Britain and it was like, you, you're driving on the other side of the road now. And he didn't realize for this. Uh, and he turned straight into a car. And like, if there was realistic damage physics on that car, it would have been a closed casket funeral. He plowed straight into the front of this car and we were just like creasing ourselves laughing because he did so much damage to his truck that I think he wrote off his shipment that he was carrying. It was quite funny at the time. It's one of those you had to be there things, but oh boy. They're only French fries if they're from France, otherwise they're just sparkling chips. <laughs> sparkling chips. Mm. I get it. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. Here we go. It crashes as well. The best that, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I just never. He was just like, "What the hell? Where did that come from?" And it was just like, "You, you, you did a wrong on the road." So like, "Well, how was I supposed to know?" <laughs> he got super <laughs> defensive about everything. Then we were just like, "Are you going to attend that guy's funeral or not?" <laughs> yeah, I'll inform the widow. Oop! Oh, fell down again. Oh, yeah. So funny. Can't, can't confirm that sneeze. Playing Watchdog Legion made me realize I played too many driving games set in America. Uh huh. Yes, because uh, Watchdog Legion is very British. <laughs> it's a little too British at times. Mm -hmm. That was, Oh, yeah, that was the wacky fun one they made, wasn't it? It, it was crazy because there's. Um, it was around the time of certain things happening in the UK. Oh. Hmm. And some of the, like, comedic writing is, is like, absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, the crazy thing is it was made in Canada. Oh. It wasn't, it's not, the game's not even made here. <laughs> so I think it was Ubisoft Montreal. Hmm. Oh, yes, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Am I even going the right way here? Yes, I am. Okay, I go straight ahead. <laughs> I'm just remembering things now. <laughs> I do need to. I do need to. Knees, knees, pick me, pick me. <laughs> just quote things from the game that no one else will know. I was going to say that sounds like an in joke. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Ball bomb. Aha. I should pay attention to what Salik's doing. <laughs> it's fine. That will probably help. This is not a picnic and I don't have any jam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, love he game was so I love hearing in-jokes like that because I just get to imagine what the in-joke was and then I make my own in-joke. Okay. We're going... Going this way. I think. Yep. I'll be in. Yep. Apparently it started development before Brexit was even a thing, so I'm guessing the writers were just saying, never mind, real life just wrote the game for us. Uh -huh. <gasps> Spider track. It's like, um, it's, uh, in the game, there's like, 
Oh, no, no, I don't think it was one of these, but one of the characters mentioned strong and stable. I'm like... <laughs> If it was written before that, that's that's just so weird. Yeah, that would be. And since that became a bit of a meme. Hmm. Whoa, what happened there? Oh. Hey, my blocks just plan disappeared. Yep. Okay. Oh yes, very very British, very funny, can recommend. <laughs> I don't remember this room before. Whoop! Ooh. I don't remember reading. What's giggling at me? Right. Oh, you're up there. Right. Okay. Oh, you're on the track. They're getting smarter. They are getting smarter. Will a missile take care of you? No. Oh, maybe I have to swap weapon? Also, there's a hacker with a thick northern accent called Note. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not rapid fire, is it? Uh, okay. <gasps> yeah. I don't think I can do anything here. What do you say? What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands, or is it a, ro a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago in some corner of the universe, as yet unseen it by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed, as if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe. We hold fast to the hope that this is not so, and the only surviving remnants of this evil are here on Talon 4. Then, at least, there is hope for its eradication. Gulp. Sinister. What are you? Oh, this ben Bendesian portion of the floor here is weak. Structural weakness due to supersaturation of water. Okay. Gee, I wonder what will happen. Hmm. I do wonder. Let's let's get out there. Pew, pew, pew. Nope, it's not that gun. Maybe not. Shoot something, nope, nope. maybe? Maybe not yet. I don't know. We can come back, we got... What's that? Whoa. How did I not notice this gigantic thing in the middle of the room? Oh, that was just me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, do you mind not parking there? It's inconvenient. Sorry. <laughs> New creature, morphology, plated parasite. Hardy member of the parasite family, invulnerable to most weaponry. Cousin to the parasite, these creatures are known for their amazing resilience. Field studies suggest a weakness to morph ball delivered weapon systems. Okay, so I mow them over, they go splat. Okay. Oh, I may have to leave your Discord after the next ad break. I've just realized I do need to get an early night tonight. Ooh, all right. I, I, am, up, I am up early tomorrow to play Pokemon. <gasps> okay. Oh, this sounding sinister, actually. Where am I now? Oh, I need... Okay. Hmm. This game must have been quite a looker for 2002. Let's see. Oh, the device has been previously used. Shut itself off. Okay. Oh. Don't be opened. 
yet. I think I'm probably going to get the ice beam around here somewhere. Oh boy. Time some pro skater. Metroid used ice beam. Wow, that was a jump. That's super effective. Mm-hmm. Got Pokemon on the mind right now. <laughs> oh, we've got story. Oh. Got lots of story. To the entrusted one. If you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs, believing in the black promise of a great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the greatest danger, perhaps an even greater one than the great poison itself. When you read the universe of these creatures, you will be the true entrusted one. Hmm. I don't know if Chozo are a thing outside of this game, but the Chozo are... Ah! <laughs> oh. mm. I don't know if the Chozo are in the other games, like the non-prime games. Part 2. None know if our temple, the Cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around that ab abomination, cutting it off from the world above. But how can we Chozo hope for the Cradle to remain intact when that which guards, which it guards writhes in the darkness, growing always stronger? The fate of this world rests with the gathering of artifacts we call the Cypher, but even it is not all powerful. It is strong, yes, an enchanted hole made of twelve links. Still, it is finite in its reach, and we who guard it are sh slowly succumbing. Will the entrusted one arrive before our vigilance crumbles away? That time rapidly approaches. Ugh. Oh my god, I've, I've just oh realised my uh, PSP case has a secret compartment that I never knew about. To carry games and like, stuff? Uh, to, uh, to carry memory cards. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, uh, Zekiro man, hello. Big, big bird, yep. Oh, the Chozo of the bird. birds. Ah. Mm, okay. Bird. A specific... Oh, hey, Bryce. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Bird. How are you doing? A specific in Metroid, that's the bird race that made the Vala suit, among other things. They Barrier oh. suit. Ah, Okay. They're near extinction. How's that high, Bryce? Don't worry, I, I noticed that you were here earlier on. Sorry. I, I need to maybe fix like the the text colours. Not not on OBS, but just in the in the in the chat maybe, because they're all the same and sometimes uh, it, um, um, a if, bit. if the if the colours aren't set by the person, uh, it's random. Oh I see. Right. Okay. And part three. Many Chozo are gifted with the distant sight, and even more begin to learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forwards, seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days on the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies, and the most common, tells of the coming of the worm, born from parasites, nurturing Nurtured in a poisoned womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, till the world begins to rot. Worm. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark portent. Portent? Really would that, that would you still like me if I was a worm? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Don't break. forget your ad break, by the way. Yeah, oh uh, yes. It should be coming up soon. Mm-hmm. This cordite statue is worn and weathered. Scans indicate the presence of a powerful conduit behind the statue. Okay. Shoot it. Ye don't, li don't shoot it. That no, literally, yes. That you sh we shoot it. Oh, okay. Just with the right gun. Or maybe not. I've got something that deals with cordite. I'm sure I have. Rare, 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 rare. I destroyed something in the previous stream that was tied to Cordite. There oh. we go. There you go. 
thermal. Now do I have to charge it? I'll scan it again. Uh, that'd be two hours, everyone. <gasps> yeah! Something behind right. the wall seems to have been activated. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Spider ah. tracks! All that just for that. Uh uh huh. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I need to ah, find another one. Yeah. It's a puzzle. Wow. Puzzle in my Metro game? Never. Rare. Oh. oh. Hmm. Rare. What's that way? Rare. That's, that's a dead end. <clears throat> I don't know if this is spoilers. I forgot which game reveals it. Oh, oh, for the the Chozo. Whoop. Oh, the, oh, the rem didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Uh, every time I've asked about Metroid, and people go, "Eh, don't worry about it." <laughs> oh, the rem. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, whoa. Whoa, oh, what are you? Uh-oh. New creature. Aberration Chozo Ghost. Spectral Entity. Bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon in the Talonfort environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Yikes! Okay. Oh, I fell down. Uh. <laughs> I want out. Well, ah! <laughs> uh oh. Well, I do have an ad break, so we're going to have to deal with this guy after an ad break. So we'll be back in two minutes. Uh, you'll be back in two minutes. Okay, you're going well, then. Uh, rare, rare. <laughs> All right, All right, everybody say bye to Lucas Friend. Rare. Bye, chat. And we'll be back in two minutes. So get up, stretch your legs, get some water, do anything you have to do, and we'll be back in two. Right.
Hey, we're back, we're back. Thank you very much for hanging around. Okay, well, oh my god, that was the start. Okay, this guy is really aggressive. Can't hurt him, I don't think. Maybe I can firmly see him? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why I'm bothering trying to fight him. Oops, no, that's my scan. This might be futile, who knows. Or can I just leave? I don't think I can leave. I think I'm, st I think I'm stuck in here. Hmm. All right, scan. Identified as the statue of a Chozo elder. But it's Chozo law. These statues served as the watchful guardians of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty as if awaiting an offering. Hmm. Maybe... Oh, I am doing damage to him. Okay. Wait. Okay, awaiting an offering. So this must be... Yeah, okay, that's a Chozo Elder. Mm. Yep, definitely bird. Definitely bird. Jeswin says hi. Hi, Jeswin! Orb. Hmm. Indeed, orb. <laughs> Would you like this orb? I am an orb. I can be an orb if you want me to be. Nope. Alright. Scan this. Maybe you want something else. You want some seed? Maybe? Nope. Chosa Ruins translated. Hollow banner text reads The Hall of the Elders. Mechanical structure of bridge indicates it can be rotated. Hmm. You had the right idea, but just missed. Oh, okay. I'll try again in a sec. After I scan virtually everything, the elder's greatest power lies beyond the second lock. I get a little bit OCD with the scanning of, of things. Like I have to scan absolutely everything. That's what the game wants you to do. Of the elders. Okay. I saw some up here. Did I imagine those? Oh no, nope. there they're there. Oh, I can't see him from here. Oh, got story. Things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail, existing in a single dimension. They are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they await beyond the realm of perception. Emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence, such as the will of the Chosen. Our will to defeat the evil seeping into this planet remains forever, desiring only to see the darkness meets its end. Mindless but strong, our will shall ever shall never sleep until the entrusted one arrives to cleanse this land. I certainly hope I'm the entrusted one. I feel as if that's been my job so far. Okay. Oh, do I get a little bit of a... Try again. <laughs> okay. Yup. Oh, 
Oh, oh, <laughs> I got yeeted and I j just caught that. Thank you for yeeting me. It'll give me a little bit more warning in future. <clears throat> okay. A lot of nipples on the wall. Radiation collector designed to absorb, the st absorb and store solar energy. They appear, appear largely decorative. Yeah, the music's nice. I don't think I can do anything else in here, though. Oh, what's that? Safety shield online. Window secure. That doesn't help me. Yep. <sighs> Gotta be something else though. Oh, I can get up there. Okay, you want purple? you to yeet me. Okay. I could have gone much better. <laughs> Draw me gently. I uh, don't fall off. Oh. Okay. Yeah, whatever I do, don't fall. Have to call it a day, actually. Suddenly gotten very sleepy. Hey, no worries, Lucas. Thanks for hanging out. Always nice to chat. Oh, I'm behind the window. Okay. You have a game. Good luck in your competition. Let us know how you do. But we all wish you the best of luck. Safety shield offline. Use caution near window. Use caution. Okay. Poke all the men. <laughs> Poke all the men you can. Let us know how that goes. expecting a face to just be staring at me. Drainage shut off is holding. Maintaining the water level of reflecting pool at 95%. Reflecting pool. Oh, we've got more stone toads. Hmm. Gonna flee here for now as well, I'm afraid, Ho. I've been on a FaceTime call. It's been fun watching, though. Yeah, no worries, Pivot. It's nice to, nice to chat to you. It's been a while, but uh, no, I'm glad to hear that you're, that you're doing well. You take care, and hopefully we'll we'll talk again soon. 
but yeah, I am yeah, really enjoying this. It's fun to just explore around and, and find all this neat stuff. I'll be back on here afterwards. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I will be going for... Ooh. Let's see what time is it now. I'll probably be going for a few more hours. Yeah, no worries. You have a good night. Oh, we got... Oh, my God. There's stone toads everywhere. Oh, God. There's one right next to me. <laughs> Frighten me, sir. And just scooch you around, sorry. Right, do I... Ooh. Fractures detected in Taloric Alloy Drain Cover. Cover is... Cover still functions, but its integrity is unstable. Talokian. Taloric, sorry. Huh. Do I have anything that could break that? Oh, I guess I'm going in the water. The drain cover? Nope. Taloric, huh? Maybe... Maybe ball bomb? Oh, that did it. That was a lucky first guess. Okay. Now then. Yeah, the fishies. Oops. Uh, uh, nobody call Peter, please. <laughs> yeah, they'll, be, they'll be happy down the drain. That's where all good fish go, I guess, eventually. Okay. I'm going to guess that, they, that these guys are going to try and eat me. Yeah, I prefer if you not do that. Splat. <laughs> the look of alarm on their face just as they blow up. Oops, whoa, steady on there. Nice. Save room. I'm glad. I haven't had one of those in a while. Although I will admit, and I knock on wood profusely when I say this. The GameCube has behaved. It conked out once on the first stream I did this, but ever since it has behaved itself. So thank you, GameCube. Access to talent, Overworld East granted. Okay. Talon Overworld East. Have I been there yet? Oh my goodness! Third raid of the night, Wolfenbeck! Hi! Welcome in! How you doing? What were you playing? Hope you're doing well on this Friday. Ah! <laughs> Larry Boldenfrost, thank you very much for joining the Horde. Thank you very much. How you doing? What were you playing, Wolfenbeck? Everyone gets to the hole, bodies. Ah! Distracted, no! It's my hole. You're playing Helldivers too? Nice. Nice. A lot of people playing that. Very popular, isn't it? Yet to think about that myself. But hey, you never know. I'm on a bit of a retro kick at the moment, right? Well, I ain't getting in that door. Where am I? Is my first time going through Metroid Prime? 
A fun game. Oh, it comes out there. Okay. Right, well, I'm definitely not doing anything here because I ain't got no ice beam. Oh, well. Gonna play it with me sometime. Yeah, I could do that. Also, got my first Switch game. Ooh, which one was that? Something good. I'm gonna guess it's Warhammer related. That's just a guess, though. Oh, Unicorn o Unicorn Overlord. I've heard and seen good things about that game. Art style is very nice. Same people who did Dragon's Crown, wasn't it? Yeah, that's been a fun game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does look fun. I will probably get it myself. Made by, oh, goodness me, Vanillaware, I think the company's name is. Yep. Ooh, what be this? Aha! That's what I need. Ice beam. Excellent. Hey, that's going to let me get to so many new areas. Press down C to switch to the ice beam. White doors can be opened with this weapon. Fantastic. Good stuff. I think this will be the I, I, In fact, I'm confident this will be the first Nintendo game I finish on stream. Oh, look at my gun. My gun is so cool. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. Hey. All right. Good stuff. All right. Well, let's go back to Talon East and open that shortcut. Oh man, I'm just thinking of so many new areas I can explore now. Ooh, there's a door over there. I'll try that first. Hmm. Oh, another lift. Oh man. Talon Overworld South granted. Ooh, do I go east or do I go south now? Check the map. Oh, I can only really check the map once I go down. Alright. I feel somewhat responsible for this. Yeah, you, with the game playing. And you, you being good at strategy games and stuff. That does look good, though. That and Steve Chops. Who's Steve Chops? Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, wow, I'm not that far from... Oh, hang on a minute. When I pull out. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Crash sites. Okay. Well, I'm near the same area, so I might as well have a look. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you, sir? Uh, but, 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 you keep your distance, please. Morphology seedling. Plant-based ground feeder. Dorsal spines can be ejected in self-defense. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Well, self-defense, I mean, look, friend. I'll be real with you. If you don't attack me, I really don't have any reason to attack you. So are we cool? Ah, no, we're not cool. All right, you asked for it. It gave you a chance. Whoop. Oh, shit. Ow. My goodness. Ah. <laughs> okay. Right, well. Blood flower. Oh, I've scanned you before. All right. Oh, boy. Whoa. Hmm. Whole new, a whole new area here. Oh. 
Ooh, smashed him up good. You look like a funky plant. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, need to scroll up a bit. When I hopefully get my graphics card next week, I will order a Switch. Nice. <clears throat> Although I don't know if you might want to hold off. Maybe the maybe the next gen Nintendo game uh, Nintendo system might have backwards compat. It sounds like something they want to do according to the rumors. So I don't know. It's it's your money though. You do what you want. Tap sack. It's a bit wild. A bit of a wild stream. Ended up playing with so many people like VJ, Larry Boldfrost, Erjan, and Chapel Master Valrak. Chapel Master Valrak. That's the name. Oh, that's for Hell Divers, isn't it? Nice. Hmm. I need to do more research into what the game's all about. I've seen it, but I don't really know it's anything story-wise. He's an artist. He also does a lot of... Oh, not safe for work stuff. He has made a lot of emotes on Twitch. I know him because of... Oh, Care Level Zero. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, Care Level Zero is doing a lot of Yakuza right now, isn't he? Alright, what we got? Oh. Is that a hole? Hey, I'm not too sure if I want to drop down there yet. I'm going to explore what's up here first. And these platforms. Can I shoot the bottom of these platforms? No. Not quite. That branch. That aha. That's not a that's not a funky looking branch. Gate lock engaged. The controls are on the other side. Yeah, I want to get over there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I see it. Jump one, jump two, jump three. Yeah, <laughs> this should be fun to get around. A yeah, chapel. Chapter Master Varak is a big friendly YouTuber. Does a lot of Warhammer 40k content too. Is from oh Manchester. It's not too far away from me. Nice. Round and round. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, can I drop down and then reattach? Oops. Nope. Too slow. <laughs> I get it just right. Yep, uh, there we go. Screw it all the way. All the way. Oh. <laughs> Neat. Huh? Sap sacks. Can't scan you. Alright. Onward. Analysis of wall shows rampant weakness due to severe water saturation. As traces of bendesium detected. Okay. So just shoot it. Something, or is it the mothball? All right, hang about. Which one of my weapons does that damage? This will launch a new charge beam, maybe. And speedrunning Persona Three Reloaded is boring. You speedrunning now, Bryce? Or are you doing something for an in-game challenge? 
in combo. Looking for the keywords. Stained fire. Up power beam. Uh, all right, well, we'll just try this one anyway. Trying to get the, oh, trying to get the platinum trophy, right. Do I not have anything that destroys Bendesium yet? Don't think I have. Well, that sucks for me, I think. Morph ball. I like the power suit, the morph ball is modular. Nope. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying. Boost ball. What's that? Gonna bounce, have a good rest of you. Yeah, no worries, Steve. Ugh. See you later. Have a good one. Ooh, okay. The mothball bomb can easily break. Oh, sandstone or taloric alloy. Okay. Alright, which heckin' one destroys Bendesium then? Yeah, I don't think I have anything yet. Single shot. No. I think I'm going back where I came. Oops. Never mind. Place to come back to. My goodness, there's no fall damage. What's down the hole? Is that a hole? Oh, it wasn't a hole. Okay. Never mind. I'll try that other elevator. Yeah, stupid chat isn't scrolling. Sound like the story of Helldivers 2 is liberty. Oh, I see. I'm doing my part. That's the main joke I get from that. Hmm. Anything else in here before I move on? Nope. All right. Uh, let's try the east elevator then. Or I was going to go in the heck in first place. Yeah, oh, oh, go on then. Oh, my chat's all over the place. I'm sorry. Luckily, I got Lucifer and the Messiah. So, boss bosses will now die when I wink at them. Oh, okay. I do have... I probably mentioned this already. I have Persona 3 uh, Portable and Persona 4 Golden for PS4 incoming from Limited Run. I understand the irony that it doesn't make port Persona 3 portable not so portable anymore, but you get the idea. But I do have Persona 3 Feds. I have a lot of Persona games, and that's disturbing for someone who's not played one of them yet. But I'll get around to it. That's always my, my tagline, my catchphrase. I'll get around to it. Not sure of the differences between Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden, though. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, you don't like ice. Ice beam. Grenades, I guess. Ooh. 
Okay. Ooh, I don't recognize this area yet. Fine, if you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Ouch. Oh, whoa. Mushroom, stay away from them. Nice. So Persona 3 Portable is a watered down version of Persona 3 Fez without Fez. Right. Oh, wasn't there some controversy the other day that uh, somebody did a bit of digging and found that there was some content in Persona 3 that they're selling back to people? And I'm like, eh, yeah, sounds about right. Thought we'd grow out of that practice, but I guess not. Yep. Tree limbs have extended across the room, blocking part of the hall. There seems to be enough room for under the limb for something small to pass through. That would be mothball me, wouldn't it? Small gap exists in the tree's root structure. Okay. Species venom weed, poisonous plant that retracts into the ground if threatened. Venom weeds evolved to thrive in the habitats of large organisms. They love prey with brightly coloured leaves, then detain it with tiny barbs that deliver a powerful toxin. Then we rapidly decompose anything that succumbs in their midst. Yep. Oh, pretty mushroom. Hmm. So Fez is coming to Persona 3 Reloaded, just not until September. Ah, okay. I didn't realise they'd announced that yet. Maybe you can play as a girl. Oh, in Fez, right. Whereas Golden Week Persona 4 is the definitive version of Persona 4 so you're good. Right, yeah. Yeah, never buy a Persona game day one. Like, they will re-release it with more content later. That's what I've learnt. Oh. Sweet. How many missiles is that now? 75. Ouch. Oh, yikes. Where am I now? <laughs> okay. Ice beam plus grenade is, ouch, a winning combination. <laughs> Great. Episode. It's called. Oh, episode. Agis, which is what Fez is about. Oh, I see. Hmm. Okay. Did I just drop down here? I'm gonna guess so. Oops, nope. Map. Nice, okay, that's exactly where I wanted to land. Okay. particularly want to fall down there right away. Okay. Alright, that's the only way I could go. Hang about. There's something back there that I'm um, sus about. See ya.
Got no secrets, have we? Yeah, I guess not. All right, down the hole I go. So Persona 3 Reload will be the best way to play Persona 3 in my confused jumbled soup up there. <laughs> it's okay when you have one version of a game that's just Persona 3, and then you have Persona 3 FES, and then you have Persona 3 Portable and Persona 3 Reloaded. It's... I don't get why it's hard to keep track of them. All right, straight down. Ooh. this way. This looks awfully familiar now, actually. Okay, come on, I'm in. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going well. Get out of my way. species sap sack i already scanned you why do i need to scan you again chemical reaction within sack produces mild explosion when agitated okay so this is base push to persona 3 persona 3 fks which expanded to rebalance persona 3 and added an extra scenario then persona 3 portable which had to scale down a lot of environments but added a female protagonist which different with different debatable people. Oh, whoop. Gravity pulses within the Fendra area. Show me. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it, game. I'll, I'll get there. Door has no power. Not over me, it doesn't. Nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. Conduit radiates some heat that is visible in the normal spectrum. Well, let's try this. Yep. Oh, is it covered with a thingy? Okay, that did it. Trying to scan you, friends, but I can't. There we go. New creature, morphology, Talon Crab. Crustacean native of Talon 4. Hard shelled swarm life swarm life form. Once harvested for food, <clears throat> exposure to Phazon has seen this parasite diminish. Creatures are timid and harmless alone, but can be a problem when traveling in swarms. Okay. Okay. You're gonna bother me now. 
Yeah, I was chased by these. Oh, is this crash site? Yeah, this was the ship that I explored when everything went kaboom, wasn't it? I had my nifty powers in the air to run through a bunch of these tubes and I lost them all. This music's nice, isn't it? Basically, the order I recommend is Sona 3 Reload, Sona 4 Golden, Sona 5 Royal, I guess. For the best experience and PSP 1 2 if you want to try the originals. I do want to try the originals, but holy moly, they're expensive and hard to get, so I mean, you know. I'd have to resort to other measures, if you get what I mean. I'll play Shin Megami Tensei 5, whatever suits your dragon fancy. <laughs> I have... Oh, do I have... I think I have the re-release of 3 on the Switch. Right, down we go. Jumping where you can't see is terrifying. Especially when you're underwater. <laughs> oh boy. That was close. to be. I'm looking forward to Metaphor when it comes out. This is this the devs doing something bonkers. Ooh, okay. And you're saying Shin Megami Tensei was not bonkers enough. following me. Yeah, what, what are you? Morphology Aqua Reaper. Powerful aquatic tentacle. Part of a submerged organism. Similar in nature to the surface-based reaper vine, the Aqua Reaper has adapted to its liquid environment. It shares the poor vision of its rock-dwelling cousin, relying on a crude sonar sense to seek prey. Unhindered by water, the Aqua Reaper has considerable speed and strength. Okay. I think I dropped down maybe a bit too far. I don't know if I can... Can I even climb up there? Oh, I think I can. No power. Oh, four nearby pan power conduits must be energized. Okay.
It's one. Yeah, I can see how this game would benefit from a more modern layout of controls because this is having to stop and look down is a bit scary. Especially when you don't want to fall all the way down to the bottom of that hole. <clears throat> oh, that was a good shot. God, is it safe? Please put me on that platform. Oh, oh my God. Uh, scary. Hydrate. Okay. Mmm. Got me some mango. What is it? What water do I have today? Mango and passion fruit. That was a winning combination. I'm about. I am about flavored water these days. The regular water just feels like homework. Okay, oh, <clears throat> there's the last one. Get a good shot. Water levels in their puzzles, uh huh. Oh, goodness. Oop. Okay. What did you just open? Oh, okay. Primary door control is inoperable. Auxiliary controls must be used. At least I can save. Yeah, this was the period where, in order to realise you're taking control of a character, you zoom into the back of their head. Uh, oh. Dot has no power. Two nearby power conduits.
Ooh. Progress hindered by liquid environment. Power suit augmentation required to advance. Oh, really? What do I need? Then she tank lies within this crash lift. A concussive blast. Oh, should destroy lift's door panel. Okay. So, I can't progress any further this way. I guess. I can't jump high enough. Oh, pro oh. Hindered by liquid environment. Okay. Well, back I go, I guess. Yeah, I'll save again, go on, why not? That'll have got me energy tank. Big question though, how do I get out of here? It's almost break time, but would you like part time dragon to join for a bit? Sure, if you like. Not a problem, you're always welcome. What are you purring at? <laughs> ah! <laughs> yep. There's not a way out down there, is there? Uh, I don't trust that hole, it looks sort of... Game over, eh? I'll give it a go, sure, why not? I just saved, go on then. Gotta get out. I'm gonna still have to worry about air. I hope that this is the way.
Oh no. Oh, fiddlesticks. Ugh. <laughs> Being a ball isn't that much quicker. Really? Okay. Right, well. <laughs> after a break, I'm going to try getting out of here. Uh, we'll be back two minutes. All right, stretch your legs, get some water, do what you have to do. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I'm stuck under the water, but I'm not alone. I've got another friend with me. Say hi, friend. He's crazy. <laughs> talking to nobody. He's talking to himself. Uh, yeah, you'll need to shoot me your link. Oh, there you have done. Yeah, cool. Ah. Pop that. Look, right. if I was a secretary, I'd be one for Zap stream with all the stuff I do for him. <laughs> Oh, I can just add existing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can just do that. Yeah, shrink down. Ah. There I'm we go. Bigger than on no. <laughs> Put you in your place rather quickly. All right. How you doing? How you doing? It's Friday. It sure is Friday. Uh, it's great. Uh, beautiful weather over here, and oh, in Calgary fashion. Mm -hmm. We've had two weeks of beautiful, beautiful weather, and it's gonna snow again next week. <laughs> nice. No, not nice. No. Must be spring oh. now. Mm. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I like the snow. I'm still uh, one of those people who doesn't get annoyed by snow because I don't travel anywhere. I don't hate snow. I mean, all my life I've grown up with snow. <laughs> hey, if you're a Canadian and you hate snow, well, 
That can be subjective because different parts of Canada get different snow. Like Ontario doesn't get as much snow as us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like Alberta, like West Coast, like Alberta, we got a lot of snow and lots of cold weather. Mm. My, home, my old hometown, we used to get really, really cold weather, like minus 40. Oh, jeez, minus 40. And that's, your, and, that's, and that's your temperature, too. Uh, oh. Uh, my temperature? Oh, you mean Celsius, right? We share the same one. Mm hmm. Let's get you before. You know, right, the come real on. Temperature. Yeah! No! Yep. Oh, alright. I think I'm just about. Oh, goodness, where do I go now? Uh, think about how the fish and how they react to you, and I think about that. It was like one of the Modern Warfare games or something where they put a lot of tech and it just like, they made a big deal about like the fish like reacting to you and everything and swimming and then people were like, yeah, <laughs> they were doing that back in Mario 64. Mm -hmm. I remember Crisis when everyone was going nuts about leaves bending as you walked past them and at the time it was cool. Wasn't there a whole thing with Red Dead Redemption 2 with the horse testicles? Yeah, um, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, I think they were, oh, actually, now that you mention that, yes. Yeah. D didn't the horse's ball shrink in cold weather or something? I'm like, oh my god. Guys, this, 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 this is a level. This requires like several million dollars. Yeah, this requires a whole amount of research, doesn't it? I don't even know if that tr story was true or not, but <laughs> knowing Rockstar, it probably was. Like, I don't want to have add horse testicles to my Google search. <laughs> no. Yay, I'm out. Okay. That was a long way to go for that. But it's fine. Yep. Can I ball up and go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Chozo are the bird people. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Sadly, not dragon people, but they do look kind of dragony. No. Please, turrets, don't shoot me. Okay, thank you. You see, I like to put in my resume as the horse balls artist. <laughs> yep, I'm the one that did the scrote in Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you. Hold your, hold your applause until the end. But yeah, <laughs> way back when Metroid Dread came out, David Jaffe, who was the original guy behind God of War and Twisted Metal, yeah. He was complaining so hard about how there's this one room with like a they they give you no indication, but you're supposed to figure out that oh you're supposed to shoot this one block to continue. Uh -huh. And he was getting so mad that like oh this he was just calling the game bad and everything when everyone else figured it out. Which game was that? Metroid Dread. Oh Dread, okay. The new one. He was complaining so much and he lost a lot of credibility for that. Well, that sounds like that sounds like a him problem. Okay. I'm out. Oops. Yeah, like your superior developer anyways. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. Superior. Uh, the hi high praise indeed. Uh, let's see, friend of mine, I thought I owned Dark Souls Remastered, but I didn't. Ouch. Um, so what was the beginning of that? I missed out shooting Space Pirates. I thought I owned Dark Souls Remastered, but I didn't. So a friend Ooh. got it for me for Steam. Oh, nice. So it's highly moddable. Hehe. <laughs> but I started a new character. I started to pray, so I'm... And I went for the Zweihander, so I'm just... This mm. big, fat, naked guy with a massive sword. <laughs> and in the game. Nothing else, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, my guy, he has, like, nothing on, but he has a <laughs> massive sword that can just smash anything. Nice. If you need any help, uh... Oh, if you need any help, let me know. I do have... Do I'm have playing some the PC souls. version. Yep, I got the PC version. I, I, I'm I, I, that this weekend. I have sunk over 200 hours into the PC version. I got a little I bit mean, addicted I played, to it. 
I played the P the PS3 one for death when it came out. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Demon Souls. No, Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Oh, Dark Souls got a PS3 release. Hmm. Oh yeah, I suppose it would have been. It would have been that time, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, you you sweet summer child. You don't <laughs> know about the original PC release of Dark Souls, do you? Oh, the Prepared to Die edition. Yeah, I have that. No, the original Dark Souls one. I mean, Dark Souls one for uh, PC. Yeah, that was Prepared to Die, wasn't it? Or was there but a version? Did you know that? about the history of it? Uh, yeah, it was not a good port, and then somebody fixed yeah. it. Yeah, the fans immediately modded it, like within the hour. They yeah, mm -hmm. so, be better. Yep, somebody found a way to to do that quite efficiently. Yeah, we were explaining to one of my friends about the whole thing. Like in the two thousands, PC gaming wasn't really a thing in Japan, like other than basic novels. And stuff. Yeah, they they were focused more on consoles. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, PC was just like. No, we don't do those. And then future ports were quite good, if I remember rightly. Dark they Souls 2. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 port was, I think, all right. Uh, I stole there. Oh, that's back in the Hall of the Elders, right? Eee, okay. I've got so many, so many ways to go. Uh, Windows Vista. Vista. Mm. Don't curse on my channel. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to put in a... Oh, you already read that, sorry. Wait. It was Demon, then Dark, one PS3, then Prepared to Die, Windows Vista. Oh, yeah. oh, it had Games Windows Live built into it as well, didn't it? Oh, don't remind <clears throat> me. Hmm. I'm glad they finally got rid of that. Someone patched that out of uh, Resident Evil 5. Yeah! Oh. oh, of Resident Evil 5, yeah. The funniest thing is someone made a mod so the reason the game looks so muted in color for Resident Evil 5 is it's literally just a filter over it, a sepia tone filter. Yes, I heard that. And then you just take it off and like, holy crap, there's color in this game. <laughs> it's not all gray and brown. That's my first thought when thinking of Resident 5, just gray, brown, and maybe a little bit of beige in there. I still love Resident 5. It's such a fun time. Good time. Certain elements of it have not aged well. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to forgive any of that. I'm just going to say <laughs> that was Japan, you know? Uh, mm. Listen, a lot of old stuff didn't age well. Nope. A lot of my friends showed me the old, like, uh, Godzilla movie. It was got the original Godzilla versus, like, uh, King Kong. Mm hmm. And you have a whole bunch of Japanese people with black face in that one. Oh, yikes. They're trying to be like Islanders. But this oh. is like the 60s or the 70s, you know? That's one for our slashed age like milk. Ugh. All right. Gotta find a way. Oh, boy. Uh, hmm. Chosa Ruins West. Chosa Oh, no. Definitely want Chozo Ruins. Straight ahead. Oops. Oh, this ice beam just annihilates these things. That's great to have. Good thing it does, like, sound turns on it. It turns on, like, my arm's freaking cold now. Or no, her her arms all like frostbitten now. Oh, <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> I remember there's no awkward zombie comic about her getting like the X-ray beam and like, ah, oh, cool. She looks at her arm. Next thing you know, she has cancer because the X-ray beam. Oh yikes! <laughs> Here, let me get it. That's dark. Ari Five was made in a different time, a time of phones before smart. Mm, yes. Oh boy. Yeah, now, now, now I'm feeling my age. Oh, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> Ooh, ice beam. Maybe the ice beam can get me through this tree. I'm determined to find out what's in this tree. Alright, hit it, yeah. Ooh. 
Wow, just just straight up shatter him to bits. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how they can float when they're frozen. <laughs> they just like immediately fall down to shatter. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that reminded me of something. Um, yeah. Like so. In the uh, in the game that we were making for the longest time, we had this technology in it where, like, and it was really really neat at the time. You could like shatter. You, you could freeze enemies like in real time and and they would if they were moving at the time their momentum would carry into their freeze and they would fall over and they would like very realistically shatter into bits for the time it was really That's really cool. neat it was we sent, spent so much time on that damn tech and it never got used in the end Another element of game dev, it's just allocate your time and resources wisely. Learning so much from you. <laughs> Honestly, I have right. learned a lot from you. I I really appreciate good game dev, but ever since I met you, I appreciate it way more. <laughs> All the the stories I could tell. Stories that you tell, but that big NDA hammer behind you. Oh like, yes. Nah. Uh-huh. Maybe in a, maybe in a couple of years. I don't think I could reach that new gadget over there. All right, let's try. Okay, do you not like the cold? Or it's gonna be good. I might miss your stream. That's fine. We got stuff to do. I'm gonna hang right. out with a friend. We are going to. I haven't hung out there since Thanksgiving, October. Mm -hmm. Wants to go to the Southern Barbecue place. Oh, nice. Mm. And they specialize in bourbon. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> huh. And there's this adorable <laughs> little candy shop down the street. Oh man. That sounds Andy, nice. Andy. Uh huh. Quick question: You can't freeze water in this game, can you? Uh, have you tried? No, I haven't seen a body of. I don't think I've seen water yet to actually try it. I'll tell you now. I'm the worst person to ask because remember, I haven't played this. Oh, okay. Oops, thought you had. Never mind. Okay. You're spoiling, I you're spoiling the game for me, Salik. <laughs> you know what happens to people with spoil? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Me me message understood. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, what? back what when like one? last summer, Bryce uh, Kirby Man came over to visit me, mm -hmm. and me and my friend took him to uh, this boba place. You know, milk tea. But oh yes, right. Mm. Boba. We took him to this place. It was awesome. We also took him to uh, it's uh, it's one of those Japanese restaurants where you order on the screen right next to you, and then they bring it right like a little train just comes in, and brings your food right to your table. Oh man, that's it was so cool. Yeah, that just sound neat. Bullet train sushi. You ever had sushi before? Yes. Not like restaurant, but like supermarket stuff where they just have like right. bowl, bowls of rice with like cucumber, tuna, that kind of thing. Right. I'm like, yeah, that that that'll do me for like a lunch thing, but never sat down and like I don't know why the thought of eating squid kind of turns my stomach a little bit. I'm just like, oh that sounds kinda of gross. No, thank you. Eel's get, actually really good. I get it if you like it, but my tummy just was probably going to be like, nope. <laughs> oh I my thought God. you were supposed to have a strong dragon tummy. Gulp. I See. imagine a joke like uh, a dragon trying to eat sushi, but the second he eats it, it just gets cooked because of his internal temperature. <laughs> Calamari. Mm. Let's see. I need to get... I need to get... Hey, where am I going now? Oop. Oh, there's a nice door there. Great tree hole. Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Wander around until I find it, I guess. Oop.
I need some health. Yep. Yeah, I don't hear many people, like, a lot of people talk about this game. They don't talk about the second one, though. A lot of people did at the time. Hmm. Back in the day, I'm not going to say the main theme because I want to keep it a surprise for you. Yeah. I think the problem is it's in middle game syndrome, you know? Whoa. Uh, okay, wasn't expecting this. Okay, show me. Yeah, that's the area I'm trying to get to. <laughs> Gravity chamber, all right. I found you. Oop. I need to get to higher ground. I'm trying. Yep, stuck on something. Oh, I was stuck on an enemy, that's why. Or, and I keep getting hurt, and it's just physical looking at me. Two of them now. I'm going to assume I'm doing damage to him. I can't actually tell. So I'll look at the chat in a sec. Oh, there you are. Seems like you don't have a ghost of a chance. <laughs> joke. Funny joke. There you are. Kind of going to be nearly dead, surely. Where are you? Yeah. I got one of them, I think. Oh. Maybe.
come out with your mandibles up. Whatever you have. What they are. Whoa! Right in front of me. You're good at warping around. Oh, right there. Am I gonna die? I hope not. Yeah, go on. I hope. I think. Say like, say like, he's our character. He can't do it. That's just absurd. Uh, Hergity Gurg. <laughs> Oh. Come on, I can hear you. You're over here. Or well, you're not. You're there. Boy, was not expecting a attack like that. Hey, business logic. How's it going? Sorry about that. <laughs> Panic stations. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Mm. Ah, door up there. I've not tried. Oh, have I? Like, you know who Tim Pullen is, right? Music guy, yeah? Yeah. I was watching another stream. It was your first time playing uh, Solstice. Uh-huh. And the title screen is just Tim Pullen eating up all the memory of the cartridge. <laughs> and her reaction is like, I didn't know you could do music like this on the NES. Yeah, Tim Pullen found a way. <laughs> yeah, he's done some... Yeah, really cool tunes. I know he did one for an unreleased game called uh, Time Tracks on the Mega Drive. Ins long insanely catchy uh, soundtrack. But it was for a game that never got released. Which is kind of sad, but there you go. My favorite soundtrack by him is uh, Plonk for the NES Super Nintendo. Ooh, not heard it's of that one. so good. It's so good. It's also by a British, uh, pair of Brit British brothers who make games. Pickford Brothers. Oh, okay. So I was just confused. Why is this door grey? You're not grey anymore? I thought I'd already been this way. Hmm. Confused. <clears throat> Never mind. Hey, Business Logic, you played Metroid Prime before? I don't think I've ever asked you. Need the nearest elevator. That will hopefully take me where I need to go. I'm a bit lost, you see. Taking a dragon detour. Uh, uh yeah. Well, we can call it that. <clears throat> Uh, oh god, okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Chosen Ruins. Yeah, I'm so far on the other side of where I wanted to actually be. <laughs> Alright, just go to Magmore Caverns. And then... 
Which is the quickest which is the quickest way to Magma Caverns? Please tell me it's that one there. Okay. Rice. Mm. What? Oh. <laughs> he, would, he would know. That way. Mm. Now I think I'm going the right way. Let's let's say yes until it's no. <laughs> ah. Hi. Oh, farts. I forgot this way was blocked up. Can't get rid of this, can I? Can't freeze it. Guess not. Ah, oh, man, that's inconvenient. Okay. Oh, man. All that way. Out of my way. Yeah, don't worry about Bryce. <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, you don't have to fight him again, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, you're locked in? I think so. I, th I think? I don't know. Can I just leave? <laughs> I already fought you guys. I don't want to fight you again. I think I can just leave. Yep, I can just go. Right. Get some energy and then figure out where the heck I'm going. Yeah, the phase on ghosts are going to annoy you forever now. Well, oh, great. Can we just get along? So that elevator will take me... Is that the Hall of the Elders? I am wanting to go to the Hall of the Elders anyway. Okay, I'm actually nearby. Okay, cool. No, I'm fine. I'm good. Winging. I'm not winging. I'm just complaining. Right. Ah! Hear the rustlings of mushrooms. In the hole, quick. How are you doing on your game? Yep. Those were words. <laughs> I'll assume that was good. 
looking up new animes to go watch. Oh, right, okay. Doing an anime, huh? What was the one where there was mean to the dragon? How could you? Hurry. This is why I'm the worst dragon, you know? Oh, okay. Well, they gotta save the guy's sister because she got eaten by the dragon. Uh oh. Oh, wrong weapon, right? I can just leave, can I? <laughs> so long, suckers. Oh, farts. <laughs> Here again. Okay. Oh, three You're of here them. Here forever. Uh huh. Three of them now. Great. And I have to deal with you. I do to you. Whoa, I bl <laughs> blasted him through the wall. Oh. Forever, right? You'd hope. All right, that's one down. Come on. A big blast from the power beam seems to do him. Yeah. Do him, do him a bother. Charge just tend to always be worth it. Or missiles. I thought missiles was bouncing off him. Oh. General, like, uh, logic. But I guess these guys are ghosts, you know? Uh huh. And missiles are a physical weapon. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, uh, okay. Did we go in the hand? Yeep. Yes. I think. I don't know. Just crushes you. Mm. Squashes me like ripe melon. Oop. E. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Nothing I can do though. I'll put a pin on that. What? Oh wait, there was another way up. I'm a moron. Jump here. Jump here. Jump there. There we go. Right, I've already done the pipe one. Right now I'm looking at this anime, it's about an elf. Yeah. The whole oh. premise is that she partied with like these adventurers, took care of the demon lord, and then they all saw like this like meteor shower, and then they said, 
let's all to let's all check out the next meteor shower in 50 years. <laughs> 50 years later, pretty much everyone like she party with is dead, or you know, like because she's an elf, she just lives forever. Oh, okay. And now she sees like descendants of the people, and now she wants to start traveling the world to try and figure out what's like to be human, you know? When um, you're long live, when you when you live for a long time, you kind of like you don't really think about these things, you know? <laughs> Right where you sended me. Ooh. Well, thank you very much. Energy tank. Nice. What else is there down here? Oh, a little space. Okay. Oh, that was it? Okay. Let's try the third one now, right? Yes, but I don't have the red. Oh. Oh, yeah. I imagine the red will be some sort of heat based thing. Probably. I've not been through yeah, this door, though. Oops. Well, you don't need to do it. Turn the house down. Them all. Gulp. Hmm. Hang about, what was that? A space for me? I also had a hankering to play, uh... Did you ever see King's Quest 2015? Oh. King's Quest 2015? No. So it was kind of a reimagining of like an old King's Quest used to be these old adventure games. Like the originally yeah. you had to type in everything you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And oh. the odd gentleman got the right to do uh, their own thing with King's Quest. Oh, nice. There's a fearsome dragon in the first one, but you can't be nice to it. Oh, good. Good. Well, you can choose like what you want to do. You want like mm. find the dragon. Do you want to like keep it there, distract it, or you can free it? It's one of those games, because it was in the style of, like, you know, all those Telltale games that were coming out. That was the style at the down. time. It was. Yeah, you can be nice to the dragon. Elevator. I want that elevator. I think I'm going the right way. She can morph. She's got a power beam. Is she a mighty morph and power ranger? It's got the Not outfit. Sure. For is, it. She, is she a teenager with attitude? <laughs> uh, I don't actually know how old Thomas is. Uh, I'm gonna look for myself. <laughs> Hang on, this is way inefficient. are saying she's in her 20s. Okay. Oh, no. Please don't have me fight again. Uh, I screwed up. Or did I? Where's the elevator here? Oh, it's a path behind no me. Oh, here we are. <laughs> there's, a, there's a very old Nintendo Power comic they did for uh, Metroid. Yeah. Metroid, and in that one, Samus has purple hair, but she's also six foot three in that comic. She's a big Amazon. I think I just found something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh that, okay. I thought that was oh fast. <laughs> okay. Right, never mind. Yeah, Samus is like six foot three, so she's tall. She's as tall as, uh, Game Dev Dan. Hmm. Very cool, dude. That's... I haven't talked to him. I haven't seen him forever. Oh, I got it confused. That doesn't say E. That says M. 
abyssal. Darn it! I thought that was E for elevator. Shoot. Okay, I was going completely <laughs> the wrong way then. Oh. Well. And I had the daft one. I gotta send you to daft planet. Uh-huh. Okay. How do I get out of here? I will be right back because I need to grab some dragon pizza. Ooh, mmm, okay. Not, not not, made with dragons. I certainly hope not. Oh, it's a bench shift. Oh, you do have work. Okay, if you're going, Bryce, do you take care. You have a good evening. Okay, how do I get to that? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Up here. Yep. Oh, God. All right. I just drop down and deal with you guys. Oh, right in front of me. Good, get out of here. Huh, right, okay. That's where I want to go. That'll take me to a place that's anywhere but here. Destroy pool is free of fluids. Nice, okay. Oh, you guys have come back. Better if I do it over here. Yeah, let's go. Get off me. Oh, thanks. That was a big help. Hmm. Save. Go on, why not? Thank you. 
Okay, lift going anywhere, please. Hang on, is this actually the way I want to go, though? I'm so lost. Town light can't do anything there yet. I originally wanted to go that way. And I ended up all the way over here. Maybe there's a quicker way down. We'll see. at all. Oh, is this way a dead end? Yeah, yeah, dehydrate. Yeah, okay. Mm. Thank you. Okay, I can get the magma caverns if I go that way. Just I'm just on the other side of the flaming planet. Rude. I just want to leave. Nice. Uh, What's on it? I need to know. Pepperoni and cheese. Okay. I'm a pretty basic bitch like that. <laughs> what is Silex's favorite pizza? Ooh, lots of. I'd say lots of veg. I like. Mm. I like. I like uh, pepper. Uh, peppers. Uh, okay. Sweet corn, I'll do. Um. Chicken, onions, red onions. I can always go for a good barbecue chicken pizza too. Oh yeah, that's nice. Alright. Dragon pizza. It'll quell your dragon hunger. Mm. Dragon. It will slay your hunger. <laughs> Actually, I think... Uh, uh, yeah, I did find this place called Dragon's Lair Burger here in Calgary. You told me about that. It's a good place, isn't it? Yeah. It was the burger was good. The poutine was really good. Oh, nice. So we should come going the right heckin' way here. But their first, their best burger is called the Dragon Slayer. Hmm. We'll see about but, that. But uh, so like it will slay your hunger. Oh. Let me describe it to you. Sure. Four beef patties, four bacon slices, three slices of cheddar cheese, one scoop of jalapeno cheddar, matzo sticks, onion rings, deep fried mac and cheese, jalapeno popper, ketchup, mustard, and dragon sauce. Dragon sauce? Hmm. I'll leave their house sauce. That does sound like something that would make me feel extremely uncomfortable after eating it. But I give it a down good you, go. You, I just imagine you're eating it and this other dragon looks at you and it's like, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, I'm hungry. I'll send it to you. You can look at it during the break. Mm. Oh, have I got a break coming up? Oh, yeah, I do, don't I? Right. Yeah. My challenge, make it to the flaming 
magma caverns before the break. I think it's just cool. A burger restaurant just called the Dragon's Lair. Mmm, it does sound good. Okay. Like Matt. that dragon peach I showed you way back in the day. Yep. Okay, I need to go up. Ouch. Remember, I used to go to this really good local burger place called Boogie's Burgers. Mm -hmm. They described themselves as the anti fast food burger. They were like, we're anything but. Me. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. They hated the clown. <laughs> Damn with the clown. They also had a whole bunch of cool arcade machines. Okay. <clears throat> Go down. Down. Sorry, fellas. I ain't hanging around. Hooray! The other dragon's like, I hear that say like he just ate a dragon slayer. Mm. In name, not by nature. Right, from here I can get to the the snow area. I think. I hope. Nope, don't want to go to the Chozo ruins. Absolutely not. There, that's the one I want to get to. Okay. This way. So from that one anime, I found one part later on where the guy, they dub him the Dragon Slayer, but he doesn't like the title. Oh. As, as he puts it, he's like, you're loud as the Dragon Slayer. He's just like, uh, it's like, what's wrong? And he goes, I wish for dragons to be the strongest. I want to be the ex be in existence that would never lose to humanity. Because <laughs> this guy, he he loves he loves monsters. He's obsessed with them. Ouch. And he goes like, that's why I don't really don't like dragon slaying tales. Mm. Uh, how about you be the dragon slayer slayer? Dragon slayer slayers, that's pretty cool. Then you <laughs> then you be Laos the murderer. <laughs> he just kills other people. Mm. Oh! I just noticed there's a door up there. Okay, we might be finally making <laughs> progress. There's one part in today's episodes where uh, when they're running away from the big red dragon, mm -hmm. Laos constantly has those like fun facts about monsters. So he's like, fun fact, did you know that dragons are like, no, well, they're not really agile. They can run up to 60 kilometers per hour. Why would you bring that up now? <laughs> I'm like, oh, so we're like bears. Bears are very, very fast. Yes! So are hippos, actually, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Hippos will mess you up. And moose. Moose will mess you up. Uh huh. Uh. And hippos are the number one killers of oh, yeah. people. Oh, they're they're up there. The people always underestimate them because they're part of the food system. Yeah. They're just saying, oh, look at that big oaf. He's not going to get me. No, he is. He absolutely is. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, and there was that tunnel too. Okay. Yes. Making progress at last. Okay. 
Hi. Monsters have been living for several hundred years. Still didn't turn to a platform. <laughs> yeah. You had nothing but a platform to me. And you. It reminds me of games where, like, uh, these creatures, their only purpose is to kill you. <laughs> like, their existence is like, we're just minding our business. There's a human. Let's go kill it. There's a human. Get him. All right. Finally. I think I'm at the place where I need to be to make some progress. But I do have an ad break. So we'll be back after this. Back in two minutes. Go anywhere. back <clears throat> oh, I was making sound like more hungry yeah I got sent a picture of that burger with four beef patties holy crap and I was saying you would not find that here for that price <laughs> that, that's cheap like you slap another 10 Canadian dollars on that bad boy then you've probably got the UK price All right, let's, let's see how you fellas like ice beam not very well I, I know, game, I'm working on it. Believe me, I'm working on it. The well, game I is. Have a Sorry, go on. Go ahead. Uh, I was just saying, the game is getting really annoyed at me. It's like, oh, you freaking dingus, you have no idea where you're going here. And I'm like, I'm trying. Look at him, thinks this is an RPG, he can just grind his way up. <laughs> First, I do want to check out <clears throat> this, though. I was going to ask, what is your favorite genre, uh, like, setting, like, modern-day fantasy? Ooh. Um, sci-fi. I'd say sci-fi. Sci-fi dragon. Right, I definitely don't have anything that can open you yet. Right. I, I love fantasy. Fantasy is good. Um, it's... I've, I find it, though, a struggle to find people or just anything that does anything, like, newish with that, you know? It's like... Yeah. It, it feels very... 
maybe Heck, both stay up. Yep. Yeah. I completely understand. Hmm. Okay. Right. Check the map. Okay, this will finally take me where I'm wanting to go. I like the music in the snow area, it's quite nice. I guess the one thing I really like is uh, modern day, but a fantasy modern day. So, like, modern day, but like, you know, like medieval creatures and like other stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. One of my favorite games is uh, <sighs> Coffee Talk, where you play as like a barista who opens a coffee shop and Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to your customers and make the right, right order for them. But it's a uh, modern Seattle, but like, you know, there's orcs and elves and all the other stuff that's living normally. All right. <laughs> Ooh, ice beam. All right, new area. What's chilly? Oh, I forgot what you did. You didn't like wave beam, did you? There we go. Ice blocks a tunnel. Blast of heat should be able to clear it out of the way. All right, start breathing hard. <laughs> Oh, in the snow. That's nice. I imagine, like, this is just me making fun at this point. You try and breathe fire, it's like a little lighter comes out. <laughs> uh, Silek, are you okay? Uh, <coughs> Fine. It's, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Look, it happens to any dragon, I swear. <laughs> been in here before? No, I haven't. Oh, wow. Lots of doors. Ooh. Oh. <coughs> right. Come on, GameCube. You can do it. Whoa. Yeah, jeez. Wait a second. Haven't I already been in here? You might have. Yeah, I have. Oh, I just did a loop round to that whole. Okay. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I don't need to be in here. I don't think. <laughs> Let me check the map. Uh, <clears throat> where I was coming out of. No, I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Let's not fall down immediately, shall we? Oh, oh, maybe I do want to fall down immediately. Okay, yup. Any more huge rock monsters down here, I'll be fine. Oop. Excuse me, fellas. Ooh, <clears throat> what are you? I'm getting used to your stream at this time because uh, our time change happened last weekend. Oh, are you an hour uh, ahead now? Yep. Right, okay, so it's now late for you. Sorry. It's really later. Oh. <laughs> Dragon Stream takes all day now. Right. Gulp. Uh, morphology, a glider. Docile airborne creatures with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live in relatively peaceful existence. That's good. They have a magnetic signature attuned to common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding <clears throat> involves using a grapple to attach to a glider and staying on it as long as possible. I think I'm going to be getting a new tool soon. Okay. Get the thing gra the thing grabber. <clears throat> yeah, okay, this is pretty. Out of range, huh? I'm gonna guess that that might be a new power up down there, so. Screw it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it's under the water, I think. Under the ice. Yeah, I will make the effort to try and play the Spyro games. Yeah! Spyro is great. Oh, they've always seemed wonderful and whimsical. A lot was put in. Oh, the animations when in they the new ones are great. When they originally came out, that was when I was in my weeby, uh, try-hard RPG phase. Oh. I was playing a lot of RPGs on PlayStation. I was in a lot of anime. I'm like, dragons. <laughs> but I was young. <laughs> Yep. Nope, can't get up there. And I'm not getting up there either. I never even played Crash Bandicoot. What? Wow, okay. No! Crash is... Okay, well, cra Crash 1 is very hard. Crash 2 and yeah. 3 uh -huh. pretty much got away from the Crash 1 formula. So... Uh, yep. Crash one is very difficult. Okay. You say very hard, and I just hear. <laughs> Listen, I'm a massive tryhard when it comes to the challenge. I love playing like <clears throat> oh. Souls. To start off with, you know. There are some insane things that game wants to pull off without dying as well. Mm -hmm. If you want true 100% mm -hmm. completion, you you finish these long levels without dying. Oh. It's a good time. I hear Crash 4 is, on, is a lot like Crash 1 as well. It's a great game, just don't complete it. <laughs> That's straight down. Oh, 
I lost my door. Where's it gone? Is it further down? Okay. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, I can't jump up there. Ended by a liquid environment. Power suit augmentation required. Never mind then. <laughs> uh, last week when I was watching and I was in the call with friends and they were watching and they were, uh, one guy was like, oh, I wish I could just pop in and just tell Salik where to go. <laughs> and the other friend was just chuckling. <laughs> Did notice something in this quarantine cave. And it's a little sticky out bit there. That must be something. Ah. All right, go to the nipple. Yeah. If I can get there, I've fallen down. I'm not sure how to get back up. I need you to not be there. A few, <clears throat> few bats push me off, I'm not going to be happy. You own any of the other Metro games? I have only Metroid Prime. Two and three. I okay. don't have any. Oh, I have Metroid Dread. What else? No, that's it. Like I wasn't. I, said, I wasn't. The others are available on Nintendo Online. Yes, that is true. I'm not a big One. SNES SNES collector. It wasn't my wasn't my era. Well, it was oh. my era, but it wasn't my. You are either Nintendo Look. or Sega. One or the other. Or you're one of those rich kids that got both. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody at school had a Mega Drive. Nobody had a Nintendo. Well, I had Nintendo. I'm the enemy. <laughs> games did you grow up with for uh, the Mega Drive? Sonic, Rocket Knight, <laughs> Dynamite Heady, um, <clears throat> Good. Bonanza Brothers. Ever play um, Gunstar Heroes? Yeah, Gunstar Heroes, I have that. Uh, Alien Soldier, I have that. Um, Rice Star, that was another one. Hey, all the good platformers. Yeah, yeah, basically. Besides Sonic, which I got to play a couple times, and 
It's so funny. I was a Nintendo kid, but I love Sonic. Yeah. I just love them so much. I used to collect the comics, the American comics, and uh, watch the cartoons. Mm -hmm. here. And uh, the other game that caught my eye way back then was Shining Force 2. Oh, Shining Force. I didn't grow up with those games, but I have them after the fact. Uh, we went to someone's house and the kid was playing it and it, it was interesting because I'd never seen a strategy RPG before like that. I've only seen Final Fantasy. Yeah. But then here's this one where like all the units are on the map and you move them all individually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I need the blasted. Uh oh. Hi. No, I'm not coming down there. I need the blasted grapple hook. I don't have that yet. Hey, I'm Mr. Snowworm. How's it going? Hmm. I'm Steve. I'm Shigoth. Nice to meet you. Right. Now, heckin' where? My name is Long Roaring Sound. <laughs> okay, that's all well and good, but I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Oh, what's this room? Frost Cave. Alright, how do I get to you? Oh, I was traveling the... Wait, was I just in the Frost Cave? No, I wasn't. Oh, wait, no, Frost Cave is where I can't really do anything because I don't have the grapple thing yet. Yeah, I will admit, I am becoming a bit over phased with this. Like, where on earth do I go now? This place is so big. I'm getting anywhere is a bit of a hassle. Oh, no, I can't use that one. What was the last thing that you got? <clears throat> I got the ice beam. Okay. Like, there's, there's, a load of, there's a load of doors, but they all kind of haven't led me anywhere that Yet. But there's no, funnily enough, in oh that that's this is the fireplace, isn't it? Yeah. Right here, just maybe I just need another good look around here. I don't see any. I don't see many ice doors, surprisingly, in ice world. Ice world. Every door is an ice door. Yeah, you'd think. There's none there. What about that area over there? Chapel of the Elders. I know I'm going to be melting snow at some point, but I haven't found that either. I suppose the next place I can go is here, but I mean, if I wasn't able to get into that little crawl space there, I don't know if I'm going to be, still be able to. Okay. Go. Okay. Go this way, I guess. You go away. Whoops. Oh, God. <laughs> Helps if I don't fall down.
Mm. It's getting out of here now. <laughs> We're rolling. They hating. Oh, this isn't taking me to where I want to go, is it? I'm thinking of the weird Al version. Yeah. This is the way out. He's chasing me. The way out is. <laughs> Hang on. The way out I want. I found this adorable comic of like a knight and a dragon where she's trying to tell him, like, you should go lie in the sun. Why? Points at some lizards. They're doing it. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. There's my way out. Cuts the dragon just like doing it, and then he's all happy. He's like, told you, shut up. <laughs> Oh boy, he's closing in. Okay. I'm out. Graves just say like he ran away. You things. Mechanoid sentry drone, well armed and armored security mecha. Sentry drones have limited intelligence, but they do their assigned tasks well. Yeah, they sure do. Being machines, they are susceptible to electric attacks. When alerted drones initiate a security lockdown, then attempt to neutralize the intruder. Their electronic warfare suit can scramble visor technology as well. Okay. Good job. Yep. I'm not going out there yet. I hope it's true that Larian Studios is going to do a Dark Sun campaign in their next game. Been ages since we had a CRPG in that setting. Dark Sun? I'm not familiar with that. What's Dark Sun? Done. The original Dungeon and Dragons campaign. Is that fictional post apocalyptic desert? Oh. Don't go away, Mad. Just go away. Sounds like Mad Max fantasy. Oh boy, I got turned around a little bit. Where am I going again? <laughs> oh, that that way. Okay. Down. Look up happily once holding some guys to capitate man. Yep. Look oh what well, for that anime? No, this is for a D D that campaign. Oh. <clears throat> they look crazy. Yep. too strong. Uh, okay, door right behind me. 
Come in. See you, nerds. Ow. Come in. Okay. Welcome back. That just reminds me of Skyrim, where like the the snow elves end up just becoming the, the weird cave creatures. <laughs> That's all. <clears throat> You ever play Skyrim? Probably. Uh, me, yes. I have something like 800 hours in Skyrim, and that's probably a light. That ain't working. Just do what I do. You're not the Dragonborn. You're just, you're just the Born. <laughs> See, if you never start the quest and uh, retire that first dragon, random dragons don't spawn in the world. You're fine. And then suddenly, like, Oh, you don't have to worry about like random dragons you got. Mm-hmm. Besides. Like dragon bones and all that stuff weighs so fucking much. You have to carry it. It's like, oh. No. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm not gonna be able to make it. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to make dragon stuff for like end game. <laughs> this stuff is heavy. What? Oh my god, I forgot how to beat these guys. Daddy dragon bones. Um, hmm. I'm gonna look at more dragon stuff on Tumblr for you. <laughs> Fuck it, to encourage you. So. Uh, I need to scan you because I've forgotten how to beat you. Seagoth, <laughs> um, venerable to burst beam weapons. Oh, hyperventilate after using the breath attack. Okay. Yeah, they have to get their inhaler. Uh huh. What is that? Is is it? There we go. Missiles galore, okay. okay not dead yet. Thank you. Oh, I remember this. Okay. That's all that was, though. Power up. That's fine. Yeah. Something. Logical way of getting to that gravity chamber. Two doors on that side. Is 
there's no there's no door facing that way from the frost cave so that can't be it really hoping I haven't missed something <laughs> ludicrously obvious in the frost cave I think just one of the past maybe spirals to there or something say again sorry maybe. There could be like other rooms that would lead you that way, maybe. Yeah, probably. I'm just trying to think. Not forget you. Mocking you now. <laughs> I saw a space dragon fly past here at one point. Huh, space dragon, huh? Mm-hmm. Was like he like wearing a visor and has like rockets instead of wings? Oops. Uh, I didn't see any rockets. Wow. Okay, down I go. Did you ever see a uh, jet dragon from Monster Hunter? No. Oh, he's literally a jet. <laughs> his name is Balstrax, and his whole thing is like. It's like. It's basically like more or less jet engine inside of his wing, more or less. Oh. Hmm. It shoots, goes in the sky like a shooting star, and it just comes down and bombards you. It's probably one of the coolest like bombs. Sounds pretty epic. There's a route. There's a route down there. Have I not done that yet? Save. Oh, did I read you guys? All ballistic support personnel report to Research Lab Hydra. Lock down containment plan 3A in effect until further notice. Your personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalized by 30% ration cut and extra duty. Wow, harsh. Western Temple is in phase two lockdown. All projects are postponed. Did no circumstances are personnel to attempt access. Hmm. Let's nom nom for them. <laughs> Camping here and having a good look. It's got to be something. Also, I have to for no reason at all. No reason at all. If you were to, or a friend were to play Mario for the first time, three or four. 
three or four. What's four? Super Mario World on oh. Super Nintendo. Oh, geez, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know the difference between them. I'm just them. saying they're they're the best ones to start off with. Doesn't Mario World have Yoshi in it? Yes. Probably that one then. Super mm. Dragon Yoshi. Yeah. At least that's what he's, uh, what he's called in Japan. Super Dragon. <laughs> They've got the right idea. <laughs> Apparently, the design docs, they were going to have Yoshi for the first game, but they couldn't because, you know, lack of system limitations. Mm hmm. Also, originally, Mario was supposed to have a gun. Mario was supposed to have a gun, really? Yeah, in the original <laughs> one, in the wow. design docs. Oh, wow. I am not kidding. Hmm. <coughs> no, that one. Oh, there's another door there that I have not been in. Oh, that's in the monitoring station. Oh, that's all the way. Oh, yikes. That's a long way away. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's go see what's in that door. You like this? I'm reading this comic where the knight meets the the evil dragon inside the cave. It's like, wait, so you never left the cave? When was the last time you went outside? The dragon just like outside hmm, but what what is this place of which you speak but even better they bring the dragon outside and the caption is are evil dragons really evil or are they just vitamin d deficient <laughs> magma caverns and it's I... just the dragon of wonder but at the same time like they're they're playing off like the i guess mm -hmm. i guess this is they're, fine. they're super in wonder you know Oh. Okay. Next step off here. Oh, am I near? Oh, I'm right where I want to be. Oh, hey. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> e, everything's coming up, Salek. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Ah. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I do that thing where I just marathon an old game series. I play the line of block. Fun doing that. Hmm. I hey. think that was Silent Hill and classic Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> you guys went here before. Now he's lava. Yep, now he's returned to the earth. Blasted me right off the edge. Whoa. Oh, the turret's gone now. Yeah. Good. Turrets have gone. Sweet. Okay, what was the door? Oh, I was up there. Yeah, oh, fiddlesticks. Was that a door I just couldn't get to before? Because I missed it, or another reason? Somehow. Alright, he's a dragon brain of yours. 
Uh, <laughs> thinking hurts. Sometimes. I have there anyways. Nothing but dragons. <laughs> okay. What is that noise? Something I can use. Maybe not. Oh, there's a long path over there. What's that? Any hidden spider tracks or anything in here? Maybe I shoot and destroy this thing? Nope. Missile. Or right. a bomb. Hmm. No. Ooh, can I double jump onto you actually? Oh, I can! I didn't see you before. Hey! <laughs> okay. Alright, we might be might be making progress. Well, let's see. Oh, another bridge. Yep. Haha! Collapsible suspension bridge is functional but requires power. Whoops. <laughs> Requires power, eh? Oh, okay. Oh no, I have to rev up, don't I? I think? Yes. Uh, uh, okay. You make this. Be brave. Yeah. There we go. Chozo artifact. <clears throat> Obviously important. Sorry? Obviously important. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, ben Bendesium portion of area unstable. I don't have anything that can destroy Bendesium, though. Oh, I don't need to. I can just jump and get it. Nice. This is the artifact of strength, the second of twelve. Yep. Lord. Okay. Wow, my GameCube disk drive is going nuts. Ugh. I wonder how taxing this is. I really wonder how taxing this is on GameCube. <laughs> Trusted one. Okay. <clears throat> Artifact acquired. What do you what do you do? That's what I would like to know. What do you do? Maybe you get you something awesome if you can get all twelve. Maybe. That's what I'm guessing. Ah, I, I know. Game, you keep telling me. <laughs> And I don't know how to get there yet. Game is like, what is this freaking mook doing? He's, lo he's lost again. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Strength, huh? Yikes! Uh, 
<clears throat> I don't know, maybe now that... And I've got the artifact of strength. Maybe that does. My gun looks a bit different. Maybe I do something now. Oh, I was firing at the wrong place. That's why. I think? No? Was I? That thing. Oh, can I be a ball? Yep. Hi, do you want to hold me, I guess? Oops. You don't you do not want to hold me. Okay. I get it. No bird hugs. <clears throat> nope, not today. Uh going down there might be bad. Ah, it's Oh my god. Oh, he's coming right for us. way of it. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's good to find that. Oh, is there a... making progress. You are. Yeah. Wait, there's something else in there. There's four exits in that room. Wow. Something, yeah, there's a hole there. Ah, I think it's a thing that you scan. Oh, yeah, probably. I think you have the right thing in order to break that so you can go down there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. I still don't know what breaks Bendesium yet. Probably the fire thingy. Okay, game. I'll try going to the room you want me to, but I'm sure how. Nope, don't want to go there. Okay. Straight ahead. And we pray. Oh no, I found more dragon stuff. Oh. Up we go. This guy, this guy made these live action videos for the 3D. Like, it almost looks like he's there, like this 3D baby dragon. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, this one is like uh, when the postman goes to the wrong house. <laughs> Just me, or is it weird that the Talon Overworld is underground? Well, there's so much of these games are always like super underground. It's like, how's light getting in? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, game. I'm trying to get to where you want me to go. Believe me. There, oh must, God, there, there must be something else in that frost cave I've missed. There must be. it's way easier in the 2D games to figure out where you're going. This Maybe. It's a bit more complex. I 
never played this and it's like I wish I could help more. <laughs> it's fine. Also, we're coming up in five hours. Holy crap, are we really? Yeah. What's your call? He might have to might have to stop. You put in a good five hours today, but <laughs> all right. You know what? I think Wolfenback has a good idea. Like, I think I think you should, you should hear Wolfenback out. Another five hours? No. Yeah. Absolutely, heck, and literally not. Look, you gotta be zapped this evening. <laughs> Gotta be witty and say butt a lot. <laughs> bottoms. No bottoms. That gun rips through those guys. Okay, I need to go. I do have a question. Uh, I can write the map. Uh, yeah, what's up? What do you think of that angel guy I fought yesterday? Oh, um, seemed very bullshit. It's, I guess I, I'm not, I can't really weigh up the difficulty of that because like it's just numbers flying at you. I'm like that's that's a lot of numbers. It's just that. It's just that there's so much happening in that fight. Yeah, what game was that? Grand Blue, wasn't it? Grand Blue, yeah. The one mm. where uh, we do the stage play with the dragon and nothing else. Right. You've been spending a lot of time you know, in that game. Oh, actually, I took a break from it. We just got back to it. Ah, the, oh, the yeah. came out. Oh, yeah, because you're playing it. Are you playing it with Bryce or? Uh, I forget. Bryce, I... I, he had to take a break because PC went. Oh no! And really? uh, it it went again. Oh jeez. So he's gonna have to. He's not gonna be streaming any high-end PC games from it. So right. Baldur's Gate is off the table for now again. Oh no! <clears throat> What's actually wrong with it? Graphics card or something else? I think it might be his power. Power or something oh. else because it's just. It's feeling like the same thing where, like, his computer was, just, like, as old as my old computer and, you know, 2017. Right. Mm. He's, he has two computers. He has his gaming computer and then his work computer for, like, uh, video editing and stuff. Mm. I'm skipping you. Oh, thanks. Your footstep made me fall off the thing. Ow. I don't want to fight you. I just want to leave. Yep. Yeah, they weren't there before. I did get a little excited when I was playing the, the beta for Yielding Chronicles, and yeah, there's two dragon dudes. Oh yeah, that's the guy. That that's the game series by the person who made Su Sweet Coden, right? Yes. Let me in, let me in, let me in. And unfortunately, he just passed away. Oh, oh, right. That's a shame. Right before it really sucks. Is right before his new game. Came. Ah, that stinks. Yeah. But, uh, they gave me a closed beta that 
I did not stream. Like, I did Discord stream, but, you know, that was mm -hmm. just off, and I got a couple of answers. But I saw dragon people, like, ooh. <laughs> and I thought about, yeah, Suikoden never had, we had dragon knights, but we never had dragon people. Mm, so, yes, that's true. We had dragons who okay. sounded like elephants. <laughs> okay. No, like, in the first game, like, uh, you have this, like, dragon knight, and he has this dragon named Black. And then mm -hmm. he, the dragon roars, but it's just an elephant sound. <laughs> it's just an elephant. I'm like, what? I just they cross breed the dragons and elephants. <laughs> eh. But that was always cool because one of the characters, he's a dragon knight. He loses his dragon the first game. And the second game, he's a little bit older. And then he gets a new dragon named Bright. A white dragon. Yeah. Neat. And then the third game, which takes place like well, years later, he's now the little kid, little kid dragon knight's now an adult, and Bright's now grown up. Mm hmm. And he's a good dragon. Good. Let me see. But yeah, I'm like going. he rides him in battle, and it's so cool. Mm hmm. I'm going. Oh, go this way. Yep, this way. Nice. He tried his hardest to get to me. And you made it. Nice. Uh, hmm. Have I taken that spider trick before? I don't think I have. Yeah. I'm back. I got stuck in that. Oh, oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you're fine. Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. Where am I? All right, so I'm I'm very near where I need to be. I think. Can you check that out. I'll make my way across there, avoiding everything as I go. Oh God, blessed robots! Working on it. I'm glad I could take you one at a time. Sweet. Let's avoid this guy. Thank goodness that's kind of reliable. <laughs> How about we're in the just the how way. they were able to. Uh, yeah, I went the right way. Sorry, Karen. It's kind of ingenious how they were able to implement the morph ball so well in the 3D environment. Yep. Like, they ah. did a lot with this. They did. Okay. So, let me just check my map. So, 
There you go up there. Right, okay, yeah, this whole area will be explored next time. So I'm oh, really right. curious. Yeah, I'm really curious if I just miss something like a chump. But there should be a save point down here, I think. I hope there is. I think there is. That'll do it for this stream. We made progress. I'm not sure how much progress. I did say we'd get to about maybe... I was hoping for like 33%. Ooh, water. Okay, don't mind if I do. Mm. All right. Thank yeah. you. Ooh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, everybody who raided me. And thank you very much for people who stuck around. It's nice to nice to chat some new people. I will be back tomorrow with some Yakuza Zero. If you like Yakuza Zero, I'm making my way through that for the first time as well. That has been quite an adventure. I like playing Japanese games with Japanese men who can't say no. No, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. That's the game saved. Yeah, so uh, thanks very much, Mel, for hanging out today. Thanks, Lucas, as well. Hey, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's fun. And like I say, Being tomorrow... In the presence of a big, mighty dragon is... <laughs> enough. Yeah. Or something. All right, and like I say, I'll be back tomorrow with some Yakuza 0. That's pretty much going to be my weekend, I think. Yakuza 0. But yeah, uh, let's see. Who else is there online right now? Anybody I could do a raid to? Let's have a look. I'm looking. Let's see. Oh, Care Level Zero is doing some Persona 3 reloads. So we'll we'll say hi there to Care Level Zero. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's moved his schedule to week weekends. Mm. Um, so something I think he's got on. But yeah, um, if you like Persona 3 reloads, stick around. And we'll be right over there. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care of yourself and each other. And I will see you later. Stay awesome. Yeah, everybody stay awesome. Bye.